Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, My Hero Academia, Sans Sand Fruit. Chapter 1. Su Yuan resisted the dazzling light and opened his eyes. What appears in front of you is a white world. Ding dong. Welcome to the host. I have become a time traveler with only one in a billion chance. Dream. This was Su Yuan's first reaction, and then he pinched himself as usual. Sure enough, there was no pain at all. It's indeed a dream, but it's a bit real. My head is still dizzy. With that said, he closed his eyes again. If his head hadn't been dizzy, he would probably have created a story in his dream. Um, this can be considered a dream. However, what is happening now is real. Yeah, Su Yuan didn't refute. As a time traveler, this system will randomly give you a newbie gift package. Yeah, Su Yuan hummed again casually. Ding dong congratulations to the host for gaining the ability of the Sha Sha Fruit enhanced version, you will not be afraid of sea water. Ding dong congratulations to the host for obtaining Conqueror's Hockey. Ding dong congratulations to the host for obtaining Observation Hockey. Ding dong congratulations to the host for getting Armament Hockey. Coming across the world, my hero academia. The rewards have been distributed. I wish the host a happy time travel. Yeah, Su Yuan didn't hear clearly, and vaguely heard the words My Hero Academia. At this moment, a distant pain came from his head. He had to open his eyes quickly. The first thing that appeared was an unfamiliar ceiling. At this time, I was still breathing oxygen. Looking around, there were only hospital beds. Is this a hospital? What happened? Why did I come to the hospital? For a moment, Su Yuan was extremely confused. Suddenly, at this moment, a woman ran in and said ecstatically, Su Yuan, you finally woke up. As soon as he finished speaking, a strange memory rushed directly into Su Yuan's mind. Immediately afterwards, Su Yuan's expression began to become richer. Sometimes smiling, sometimes expressionless. Doctor, doctor, it's not good, my son seems to be stupid. At this time, the woman quickly shouted outside. After a few words of, tap tap tap, Two or three nurses ran in. Su Yuan quickly said, Mom, I'm fine. Hearing this, his mother quickly hugged Su Yuan and cried excitedly. Later, Su Yuan dismissed his mother on the grounds that he wanted to have a good rest. After a while, Su Yuan clarified a lot of things. I also know that this world is my Ying's world. Now, his full name is Baekwon Su Yuan. As he heard the system say in his dream, he is now a Sha Sha Fruit ability user, plus Conqueror's Hockey. As for the one who is not afraid of sea water, has he tried it yet? However, due to obtaining these abilities, the original owner's original quirks have been eliminated by the system, so now he can only use the abilities given to him by the system. Of course, the abilities he gained still need to be developed by Su Yuan himself. How far it can be developed depends on the individual. As for why the original owner came to the hospital, it was because he was hit by a car and suffered some head injuries. This is why, in the dream, Su Yuan felt a little dizzy. His mood is a little complicated now, because this system is a little different from what he knows. After leaving himself a gift package for newbies, he ran away. In other words, next, if you want to gain a foothold in this world, you must rely on yourself. These days, the system has become lazy. Just throw something to yourself and it will slip away. Alas, Su Yuan couldn't help but sigh as he spoke. A few days later, Su Yuan was finally discharged from the hospital. Before, it was inconvenient to use the ability of Sha Sha Fruit in the hospital, but now, he can finally give it a try. In your own room, Su Yuan's body slowly turned into sand and fell to the ground. Then, it slowly stacked up again, and finally turned into a human form. I feel pretty good about myself. Su Yuan muttered. Sha Sha Fruit, a type of devil fruit logia in the anime, One Piece. It can turn any part of its body into sand, and it can attack by molding the sand it turns into into the shape of a knife. It can absorb the moisture of living things or objects it comes into contact with, absorb the moisture in rocks or soil and turn it back into sand, or absorb the groundwater in the desert to create quicksand, etc. In addition, it can produce sand by gathering sand in its hands, Storm. In one piece, it was Lao Sha who took this fruit, but it was a bit embarrassing. In the early stage, Luffy discovered that water could touch his body and defeated him. However, 
the system says that Su Yuan's version is an enhanced version and is immune to Devil Fruit's weakness, sea water, so natural water will not become his weakness. To confirm, he also tried it himself. He was already immune to this weakness of the sand fruit. After testing it once, Su Yuan went out to wander alone. Woying's world is actually almost the same as Su Yuan's previous world. It's just that our world has an extra mutant ability called Quirks. Having said that, it is still difficult to adapt to this world immediately. After all, some people on the street have already lost their human appearance due to the impression of Quirks. But they look like animals, some look like robots, and some have multiple arms, rivaling those of Neja. But fortunately, most of them are normal, otherwise they would be walking on the street. Su Yuan himself felt out of place. Get out of the way. Suddenly at this moment, far in front of Su Yuan, several professional hero s were chasing a tall man with muscles that were almost exploding. Behind the man, he was carrying a bag of things and running forward as hard as he could while shouting at the crowd. Ah, some people who had no time to dodge were directly knocked into the air. Screams, wails, and shouts, endless. Seeing this, Su Yuan had no intention of getting involved. After all, the laws here were a little bit different. People who haven't obtained a professional hero as license can't use quirks in public places. He doesn't want to go in and drink tea as soon as he comes. So, he walked directly into the alley and dodged. Of course, other passers-by quickly gave way to him. By this time, several professional hero s had already caught up with the burly man. You can't run away. One of the professional hero s shouted towards him. Trash. If I hadn't considered that wasting time with you here would attract more professional hero s I would have killed you a long time ago. So, those of you who know better, get out of here, or else we'll start a fight, which is not good for everyone. The burly man said expressionlessly. It is true that the strength of these professional hero s is far inferior to his own, but it is also very difficult for a burly man to knock them down in a short time. That's why he chose to run away all the way, but if he was forced to die, he would have to fight. Don't talk nonsense to him, let's go together. As soon as he finished speaking, the three of them rushed towards him. The burly man frowned, and his muscles grew at a speed that could be seen with the naked eye. With the blink of an eye, his body became much larger than before. The next moment, he directly raised his fist and punched the professional hero s who rushed towards him. Boom, the two fists collided, and the professional hero s flew backwards. The burly man took a few steps back, just as the other two were about to use quirks. The burly man picked up the bag of things, jumped onto the roof, and continued to escape. The following three professional hero s continued their pursuit. After a long time, Su Yuan arrived at a deserted grassland and was about to sit down. On the other side, there was a man who had finally escaped from the sight of the professional hero s. Met Su Yuan. Su Yuan didn't want to cause trouble, so he turned around and pretended he hadn't seen him, and walked back. Of course the man would not let Su Yuan go back so easily. After all, his den is not far from here. If we let him go back and report it to those professional hero s his lair will be found out soon. Stop, the man shouted towards Su Yuan. Stop, at this moment, who would stop so stupidly? Seeing that Su Yuan had no intention of staying, the man directly put down the bag of things he was carrying. He jumped directly and landed in front of Su Yuan with a bang. Boy, you don't seem to understand what I mean. In the past, Su Yuan might have been very vigilant, and his mind would have been constantly thinking about how to escape, or trying his best to deceive the fugitive in front of him. However, although he is not sure that he can defeat the man in front of him now, he still has the ability to protect himself. Isn't it good for us to keep the well water from the river water? Su Yuan asked calmly. Listening to Su Yuan's tone, the man in front of him was slightly startled. Because, Su Yuan saw that he didn't have any fear at all. Through this, the man could immediately think that this guy was definitely not an ordinary person. After that, he took a few steps back, keeping a safe distance from Su Yuan. Who are you? A professional hero s. Or are you just like me? The man asked. No, I'm just an ordinary person now. Su Yuan said slowly. Stop it, your eyes have betrayed you. Actually, I can't let you go like this. 
the man said, his eyes gradually became sharp. His den was inhabited not only by himself, but also by many people who had the same mentality as him. If Su Yuan were to go back now, they might all be punished. So, now, he can only make Su Yuan disappear. You can't kill me, Su Yuan said solemnly. Oh, really, then I'm willing to give it a try. The man finished his words. The muscles throughout the body began to swell, the color of the flesh became red, and the meridians throughout the body became erect. You have to pay the price for being frivolous. After that, he clenched his fists and jumped. Disappear. Around his arms, white gas appeared. As the punch continued, spider web shaped cracks first opened on the ground. The next moment, the ground began to collapse, followed by flying sand and rocks. A big hole emerged. This action made the man stunned. In his plan, Su Yuan should catch it with all his strength, then fall half disabled, and finally be killed. But, with one punch, Su Yuan disappeared. After observing the surroundings, Su Yuan's body or any part of his body was not found. Did you punch me into pieces? It seems that I have become stronger again. The man muttered, and did not forget to boast afterward. As he said that, he looked at the big hole again and continued, we have to call him to fill this hole quickly. At this time, in the big pit, Su Yuan gradually recovered his appearance. He was elementalized by the blow just now, so the man's attack did no harm to him at all. Just restored to its original appearance. A fist hit him directly on the back of the head. Snapped. Half of his head turned directly into grains of sand, flying with the impact. The man's eyes widened. This, what is quirks? The second the fist left, the flying sand gathered on Su Yuan's head again, and finally returned to its original appearance. I told you, you can't kill me. Shut up, how could I not kill a little kid? The man's face began to look ferocious, and his blood-red flesh was already emitting white steam as he ran towards Su Yuan again. Bang bang bang. Every punch and every kick hit Su Yuan's body, but the result every time was the same, even his body was not touched. After a few minutes, the man began to breathe heavily. What the hell are this guy's quirks? The man muttered, frowning. However, it is true that he has fought against many professional heroes but he has never encountered such a strange opponent. In this situation, Su Yuan did not intend to fight back so quickly, because he knew that with his current strength, he could not defeat the muscular man in front of him. Muscular quirks are a type of powerful quirks. Using quirks, the speed, defense, and strength are enhanced dozens of times. However, what is annoying is that the muscular man has no way to do anything to Su Yuan. With such an attack, he fell, and Su Yuan was still standing in front of him breathless. Asshole, you guy, what on earth did you do? If you can, fight with me openly and openly. The man stopped attacking and kept a complete distance from Su Yuan. Your provocation method is of no use to me. Seeing that your physical strength is almost exhausted, it's time for me to take action. Su Yuan said, and his arms turned into spikes. However, at this moment, a burly figure fell directly in front of Su Yuan from the sky. As he fell, thick dust flew up. Just when his accomplice, whom he thought was a man, arrived. A slightly familiar voice sounded. It's okay, because I'm here. Su Yuan was startled and said subconsciously, All might. The man was also a little panicked at this time. He didn't expect that the professional hero as coming this time was actually All Might. He didn't intend to start a fight with All Might, so he turned around and jumped up, trying to escape from here. However, All Might's speed was beyond his imagination. He caught up with him in one jump, then clenched his fist and punched him hard. Boom, the man directly smashed a deep hole. Aha! The man quickly stood up and once again used quirks to strengthen his body. This time, his size was much larger than before. The muscles and blood vessels felt as if they were about to burst out of his body at any moment. All might, he roared with a ferocious expression. Clenching his hands into fists, at this moment, he already knew that there was no way to escape and he could only fight All Might hard. I will never tolerate what you did. All Might clenched his fist and ran directly towards the man. All Might, I'm going to destroy you nasty professional hero s. The man shouted loudly, clenched his fists, and fought All Might head on. Bang, 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 several times. The bones in the man's fist were already cracked, 
and even the bones in one of his fingers were shattered by All Might's impact. As for All Might, he didn't have any injuries at all and wasn't even out of breath. In less than a minute of competition, there was a loud noise. The man fell from the air. At this time, his nose was bruised and his face was swollen, and several of his teeth were knocked out. As for the body, it is like a deflated balloon, slowly getting smaller. White steam was rising all over his body. Lying on the ground in a miserable state, motionless. Tap tap tap. All Might walked next to him expressionlessly. The man looked at All Might from the corner of his eye and said vaguely, All Might, just wait, as long as I don't die, one day, I will kill you. I'm waiting for you, All Might said calmly. At this time, some other slower moving professional hero s also arrived. Has it been solved, Mr. All Might? One of the professional hero s came over and said. All Might smiled slightly. Well, of course. It's no wonder that the number. One hero s arrested the fugitive easily. That's awesome. Not long after the professional hero s arrived, a group of reporters following behind also rushed over. It's All Might. The man carrying the camera ran even faster when he saw All Might. In a matter of seconds, he ran to All Might's side. After a while, his partner came over panting with a microphone in hand to interview All Might. After the interview, All Might suddenly thought of something and glanced around. Then he asked another professional hero s on the side. Have you seen the young man who was here just now? The professional hero s was stunned, then smiled and replied, young man. I didn't see a young man here before I came here. All Might, are you mistaken? Maybe. All Might smiled, but he knew better than anyone else in his heart how he could have been wrong. If he hadn't come earlier, that boy would have been killed. All Might didn't take this matter too seriously. As for Su Yuan, after seeing All Might coming, he left slowly. At this time, I was already eating at a fast food restaurant. Su Yuan's father and mother are both professional hero s working in an office, but they are not well known. Therefore, Su Yuan is generally alone unless there are special circumstances. Night is falling. I'm back. As a voice fell. Su Yuan ran out of the room. Dad. But when he didn't see his mother, he asked, isn't mom coming back tonight? Yes, she will stay at the office tonight. Kitagawa Yuta took off his shoes as he spoke. Dad. Come practice with me tonight. Su Yuan asked. Ha, huh. Kitagawa Toyota was startled, stopped what he was doing, and looked at Su Yuan curiously. What's wrong? Can't you do it? Kitagawa Toyota quickly shook his head, and then a smile appeared on his face. No, 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 it's just that I heard you say you don't like fighting and killing, and now you suddenly ask me to train with you, it feels a bit strange. Su Yuan smiled. People will always change. Okay, wait for me in the backyard, Kitagawa Toyota said. Su Yuan nodded and walked to the backyard. In the backyard of his home, there was a large training room that they prepared for Su Yuan when he was just born. However, the original owner's previous goal was not to be a hero s and he did not like fighting and killing, including training. Therefore, this training room has always been empty. Su Yuan opened the door. There was a lot of dust inside, and it was difficult to clean it up in a short time. Do you want to practice quirks, or do you want to practice your fighting skills? Behind Su Yuan, Kitagawa Toyota came over and asked. Let me tidy up this practice room first. Su Yuan said, just about to walk in. If you want to practice quirks, there is no need. If you practice quirks inside, the training room will collapse in minutes. Kitagawa Toyota said. Instead of practicing quirks, I want to learn fighting. Su Yuan said calmly. In fact, it's not about fighting. Now, he just wants his father to practice with him, observation hockey. Okay, let's clean it up together. An hour later, all hygiene was done. In the center of the training room, Su Yuan was blindfolded, and Kitagawa Toyota followed Su Yuan's instructions with a wooden stick and attacked him. In the front, Su Yuan's heart did not calm down, but he received a lot of beatings. Later, he gradually realized something. At least you can take a few hits and dodge a few. After practicing for a few hours, Kitagawa Yuta went back to rest. After all, he had to go to work in the office tomorrow. At present, Su Yuan has only found one way to quickly become stronger, and that is to join the heroes. 
There is a training ground inside, as well as some of Quirk's stronger opponents. If you don't go to the academy and get a Hero's license, first of all, you can't use Quirks in public. You can't meet someone who can make you stronger. Some people may say that if you want to meet someone who becomes stronger, it's not that simple, just become a villain. However, it is easy to say that with his current strength, becoming a villain is a dead end. Therefore, in the face of his lack of absolute strength, he still has to grow up. The next morning, what, you want to go to the office with me? The milk Kitagawa Toyota drank nearly spitted on Su Yuan's body. Seeing this, Su Yuan quickly explained, Dad, don't get me wrong. The reason I go to your office is to use your office's equipment and exercise, not to perform the same tasks as you. Su Yuan had been to the office where his father worked. There was an exclusive training ground inside, although the equipment inside was not very good. But they are all still usable, and now, it will take some time before graduation before you can apply for harrowing. Su Yuan did not intend to waste this period of time, he had to practice harder. And the best place to practice is the training ground of Hero's office. Although I say so, your studies cannot be delayed. Otherwise, how can you apply to be a hero? As he said that, Kitagawa Toyota saw Su Yuan's somewhat disappointed expression, and was afraid that he would give up the idea of his son becoming a hero's. Then he quickly said, let's do this. After school, you can come to our office to practice. This way you won't delay your studies and use the remaining time reasonably. Su Yuan was silent for a while. This was the only way at the moment. He nodded and said, okay. That afternoon, Su Yuan had already arrived at the office as soon as school was over. However, things did not go as smoothly as he thought because his father went on a mission. Use our office to train. You think of us as your home. You can use it if you want. Don't get me involved with your dad. Your dad is your dad and you are you. One of them was about the same age as Su Yuan's father. The professional hero S spoke. Mitsui, what you said is a bit too much. It's a good thing for a child to want to practice. We don't need the venue anyway. In addition, he is Kitagawa Yuta's son. As seniors, we should still I need some guidance. Another middle-aged man sitting on the chair said slowly. The office doesn't have such rules. Mitsui said unconvinced. But there is no rule in the office not to allow the sons of professional hero S to come to the venue to practice. Old Tien, I think you are insisting on fighting with me, right? Mitsui glanced at Lao Tien from the corner of his eye. I'm just telling the truth, why bother a child? While speaking, Lao Tien had stood up, came to Su Yuan's side, and continued. I heard your father mention you. Your name is Su Yuan, right? From now on, you can use the office's equipment as long as you don't cause any damage. If you do, of course your father will still need to compensate. Thank you, Su Yuan said politely. I won't agree. Mitsui still insisted on his attitude. Mitsui. It's useless to say anything. You can't point the grudge against his father just because you have a personal grudge against his father. Lao Tian retorted. Am I that kind of person? You are such a narrow-minded person. Lao Tian said. Okay, I'm that kind of person, and I'm actually spread out like this. If you want a venue, no problem, just pass by me. Are you kidding? He's just a kid. Suddenly, at this moment, Su Yuan spoke, I'm willing to give it a try. Lao Tian looked at Su Yuan with a puzzled look and said, are you kidding me? Okay, just take a look, Lao Tian. If he can pass by me, I will shut up immediately and not say a word. He can use the venue as he pleases in the future. Mitsui gestured. After both parties agreed, Mitsui stood in front of a horizontal line on the training ground. Have you seen the horizontal line behind me? As long as you can pass it, you win. Su Yuan nodded, and the next second, he ran straight away. HMPH. My father has some brains, but it seems that his son has not inherited wisdom and will only keep rushing forward. Mitsui looked at Su Yuan rushing towards him and couldn't help but sneered. The next moment, Mitsui clenched his right fist and made a sizzle sound, and the right wall directly expanded. He punched Su Yuan who was rushing towards him. With your speed, you might as well give it a try in a few years. Su Yuan was stunned and quickly did a backflip to avoid Mitsui's punch. Is it another enhanced quirks? 
otherwise, change the content of the challenge. Su Yuan said to Mitsui expressionlessly. Okay, let's do this. Let's change it to a simpler one. As long as you can take three of my moves and still stand, I will lose. Mitsui said slowly. No, uncle, don't get me wrong, I mean to beat you to the ground. Su Yuan said calmly. Listen, listen to Lao Tian, he said he wanted to beat me to the ground. He is really a person who has never seen the world. He doesn't even know how to write the word, death. Mitsui's words were full of sarcasm. Su Yuan frowned, but quickly recovered. Don't say I bully a child, I'll give you ten moves. Mitsui said confidently. Then, uncle, please give me some advice. Su Yuan said in a deep voice. At this time, Mitsui used quirks to strengthen his entire body, and his body also expanded. Be ready to take on Su Yuan's ten moves. Su Yuan took a step and ran towards him. The fist turned into grains of sand, and the sand turned into spikes, and at this moment, it was covered with a layer of black paint. Apparently, Su Yuan added armament hockey on top. There was a sound of, bang. Su Yuan hit Mitsui's abdomen with all his strength. The spike pierced Mitsui's abdomen directly. PFF. A mouthful of bright red blood spit out directly from his mouth. Mitsui looked at Su Yuan with wide eyes, confused in his heart. As this, the son of Kitagawa Toyota's family a monster. His supposedly invulnerable body was actually pierced by a child's hand. What are his quirks? He actually has such power. To be honest, Lao Tian, who has seen ups and downs, was shocked by a child today. This child, with careful cultivation, will definitely become an outstanding professional hero s in the future. Lao Tian looked at Su Yuan's back and sighed without vomiting. You, you heard me, do you know? Mitsui's eyes were wide open, and there was a lot of blood in his eyes, and his face was very stiff. After that, he directly punched Su Yuan with his fist. Not only Su Yuan was present, but Lao Tian who was standing aside was also frightened by Mitsui's move. Su Yuan quickly dodged. Boom, the ground was shattered by him. You brat, I'm going to kill you. Mitsui said, and punched Su Yuan directly and quickly. Stop, Lao Tian said and hurried over to stop him. Then, things turned into a duel between the two of them. As for Su Yuan, he was not interested in their battle. He also knew that he could have used the office's equipment and venue smoothly. However, it seems that his father had some conflicts with Mitsui, and then he made things difficult for him. So, when the two of them started fighting, Su Yuan went to look at the equipment. While there are many types of equipment, some seem tailor-made for a certain type of quirks. Su Yuan's words were of little use. However, he also found a gravity chamber suitable for his own use. In the gravity chamber, the minimum weight is 100 kilograms, which is equal to 200 kilograms. This equipment just allows Su Yuan to exercise his body and improve his physical skills. And the operation is not difficult. Just go in, close the door, and then press the on-off button. The gravity room is surrounded by steel, the lights inside are dark red, and the atmosphere is somewhat depressing. Su Yuan was silent for a while, and finally decided to go in and give it a try. After closing the door, the dark red light came on, and Su Yuan saw buttons with 100, 200, 300, up to 1000 kilograms. The most suitable one for me right now is probably the 100 kilograms one. Su Yuan muttered, then reached out and pressed it. The moment he pressed it, Su Yuan felt like something was pressing down on him. However, the 200 kilograms of anti-gravity only made Su Yuan move a little slower. Okay, let's start exercising. At this time, Lao Tian was fighting fiercely. Kitagawa Toyota came back, seeing this scene, he asked curiously. What are you two doing? Lao Tian was stunned for a moment, why the hell did he come to break up the fight with this old fool Mitsui? Is this old guy Mitsui bullying your son? Then I came to help, Baekwon, you must treat me to this meal tonight. Lao Tian said. Mitsui also frowned, am I trying to see if he can come here? Then do you think so? Lao Tian asked, just barely pass. Is it so difficult to admit that others are better than you? Mitsui. Roll, Lao Tian rolled his eyes at him, then walked to Kitagawa Toyota and said softly, you are a good guy. You secretly trained your son so well. Hearing this, 
Kitagawa Toyota looked confused. Stop making fun of me. I don't know how capable Su Yuan is. Modesty. Really not. One punch can make Mitsui bleed. At his age, isn't he considered powerful? Lao Tian retorted. Impossible. Su Yuan hasn't liked fighting since he was a child, and he has never been trained. How could he beat Mitsui to blood? Kitagawa Toyota retorted. He still knows exactly what kind of abilities his son has, even though he is not said to be weak. However, a person who has never developed quirks, nor trained him, punched a professional hero s to death. Isn't that a joke? Mitsui, tell me, you were punched by someone just now and you vomited blood. Lao Tian turned his attention to Mitsui. Mitsui's face turned red and he defended. The injury last time hasn't healed yet. It just happened that he hit me this time. By the way, what are Su Yuan's quirks? Suddenly, Lao Tian on the side asked. Quirks, I was tested very early on, but it was unstable and there were no specific results. Then, when I got older, I originally wanted to get tested again. However, Su Yuan was unwilling at the time and never mentioned it again. Kitagawa Yutai explained slowly. Lao Tian glanced at him dubiously and said, Is this really the case? Yeah, Kitagawa Toyota nodded. Before I knew it, it was already past one in the morning. Su Yuan was called back to rest by his father, saying that he would have classes tomorrow, otherwise he would not be allowed to come to the office to practice. Su Yuan didn't resist on the surface. He showed off his face when he got home, and then went to a beach where garbage was piled up. As for the morning, I went back to school and went to bed. Although he was constantly criticized by the teacher at the beginning, later on, the teacher may have become numb after criticizing him, and finally just ignored him. In the blink of an eye, a month has passed. Hey, did you hear that something strange happened at the Seaside Park? Seaside Park, you mean the garbage over there? One day is on the east side and the other day is on the west side. Yes, yes, you have also heard that garbage must have legs. It can walk to the east in one day and to the west in the next. I heard from others that it seemed like it was moved by a madman, who showed up at exactly two o'clock every morning. Then, instead of cleaning up the garbage, he moved it to the east, and then moved it from east to west. What a madman! Let's call the police quickly. Such a madman is in danger to the citizens staying near a place like this. Why are we taking care of so many things? It's none of our business anyway. That's right, forget it. Although it has only been a month, Su Yuan has made a lot of progress. The physical constitution of the body is also slowly getting stronger. After school this afternoon, Su Yuan came to the office as usual. However, the office door is closed today, and all the professional hero s are probably out. He took out the key, and at this moment, a soft voice sounded. Your name is Su Yuan. Su Yuan was stunned and walked away after hearing the sound. At this time, a woman of similar age to him was slowly approaching Su Yuan. She was wearing a white shirt, a black jacket and a short skirt. However, Su Yuan quickly recognized that it was a school uniform. She must have just finished school like Su Yuan. Am I? What do you want from me? Su Yuan looked at her and asked curiously. It's okay, I often hear my dad mention you these days. Nako Miyagawa said while looking at Su Yuan carefully. Who is your father? This office belongs to my father. Nako Miyagawa said, her eyes flashing with confidence. But yes, this is indeed something worthy of confidence. Being able to own a firm is indeed better than ordinary people. It is also worthy of the envy of many ordinary people. However, for Su Yuan, it felt nothing. When others saw Hero S's number, one all might, they wanted to go crazy, but for Su Yuan, there was still no feeling. Oh, Su Yuan nodded, and then said, if it's okay, I'll go in first. Miyagawa Nako was slightly startled. It was a little different from what she imagined. Shouldn't there be a look of envy? Suddenly, Su Yuan seemed to remember something and continued, Is your name Miyamoto Neko? Miyagawa Neko's face darkened, Miyagawa Neko. It's almost the same, Su Yuan said. Neko Miyagawa. It's almost the same as any other name. It's just one word different, don't go into too much detail. Su Yuan sighed. HMPH. Neko Miyagawa snorted. I remember an uncle told me a few days ago that he has a daughter who also comes here to practice. 
It seems that she is you. Oh, I really didn't expect that this office actually belongs to that uncle. Su Yuan changed the topic. I heard my dad say that you work very hard and want to enter the hero S department. Nako Miyagawa asked. Absolutely, Su Yuan replied. In fact, entering the hero S department is just a place of training for him. As for his ultimate goal, he doesn't have one yet, but he will definitely have one in the future. After chatting in vain, Su Yuan finally came to the door of the gravity room. Opening the door, Su Yuan stepped in. Miyagawa Nako also ran in quickly. What do you want to do? Su Yuan looked at him curiously and asked. Nonsense, of course it's the same as you. Nako Miyagawa glanced at Su Yuan speechlessly. Su Yuan frowned and said softly, just training in this short skirt. Miyagawa Nako's expression changed, and she realized that she had forgotten to change clothes. Forget it, then I'll just watch you train. I forgot to change my clothes. Miyagawa Nako said softly, and then sat on a stool in the corner. Su Yuan originally wanted to try 400 pounds today, but after seeing Miyagawa Nako, forget it, he finally decided to go back to 200 pounds. 200 pounds, Miyagawa Nako can barely accept it if she sits down. Su Yuan covered his eyes with a black cloth, and then pulled a lever with a click. The sound of, kaka kaka, sounded. Dozens of fists appeared in all directions. Whoa, with a sound, one of the fists was punched out, and Su Yuan was blindfolded. After hearing the movement, he tilted his body slightly and took the blow. Swish, swish, swish. Immediately afterwards, fists began to be punched one after another, and the rhythm only lasted for tens of seconds. Then, Su Yuan began to be beaten. But Miyagawa Nako's laughter came from the side. Su Yuan, what are you practicing for? Are you getting beaten? I don't think it's of any use. Although Miyagawa Nako would occasionally make fun of her, Su Yuan pretended not to hear it. After being beaten for several seconds, Su Yuan regained some rhythm and barely avoided it. But the subsequent punches became faster and faster, and Su Yuan began to be unable to resist. He quickly pulled the lever up, and finally lay panting in the gravity chamber. Tread, Miyagawa Nako pressed the switch, released gravity, and walked to Su Yuan's side. What are you practicing like this? I have never seen anyone practicing like this. Nako Miyagawa asked. Su Yuan turned around when he heard the sound, stretched out his hand and pulled away the black cloth covering his eyes, just about to say something. He saw a scene, the spring scenery under the skirt. However, since the inside of the gravity chamber was dark red, Su Yuan could only see it vaguely. Seeing Su Yuan's look, Miyagawa Nako suddenly thought of something. A kick was directed towards Su Yuan's head, and Su Yuan quickly dodged. If she were stepped on by this foot, her shoe prints would definitely be left on her face. Pervert, you pervert, Su Yuan quickly stood up and said speechlessly, this is serious. It was you who didn't pay attention and let me see it. Don't tell anyone, Miyagawa Nako's face turned red with anger. Su Yuan waved his hand helplessly and said, do you think I'm so boring? People on the street keep shouting, did I see the bottom of so-and-so's skirt? Who knows, Miyagawa Nako said with her hands on her hips. Looking at the time, although it was still early, Su Yuan was ready to practice till here today. There was a woman disturbing him, and he was not used to it. After opening the door, Su Yuan walked out, and Miyagawa Nako quickly followed. What are you going to practice next? Nako Miyagawa asked. I won't practice today get ready to go home. So fast, it's still so early. Can you help me? Miyagawa Nako continued. No, Su Yuan refused. Don't be so stingy. My dream is the same as yours. I want to enter the hero S department and become an outstanding professional hero S in the future. Miyagawa Nako said slowly. Oh, what next? Su Yuan said as he walked. Then. Dot can you do me a favor? No, Su Yuan said calmly. Just because our goals are the same, just do me this favor. At this moment, Su Yuan suddenly stopped, and his expression obviously changed a lot. No. Just, forget it. Miyagawa Nako saw Su Yuan's expression and immediately took a few steps back in fear. Su Yuan took the hand directly and pulled it towards him. Then he pressed Miyagawa Nako directly against the wall and covered her mouth. 
Miyagawa Neko was so frightened that she struggled desperately, thinking that Su Yuan was going to do something shameful, which made her burst into tears. Don't make a sound. Su Yuan slowly uttered a few words. As soon as Su Yuan finished speaking, a figure fell down. The man who fell down was holding a phone. Don't worry, brother, I will definitely do this beautifully. As soon as the man finished speaking, another heavy voice came from the other side of the phone. Move quickly. Although we can help you delay some time, no one can imagine that something unexpected will happen. Brother, don't worry. However, on your side, when I just came over, I already saw many professional heroes walking towards your direction. You have to be careful. Okay, I understand, you should also be careful. Yeah, after the man replied, he hung up the phone and walked towards the other side. Ever since Miyagawa Neko saw that man, her face had become very stiff. Moreover, while Su Yuan covered her mouth, she clearly noticed that Miyagawa Neko was trembling. Do you know him? Su Yuan said, slowly lowering the hand covering her mouth. Neko Miyagawa nodded. I know this person, his name is Ishimura, a wanted criminal. Last year, my dad arrested his brother, and then, he kidnapped me. Threaten my dad to release his brother, otherwise he will kill me. Later, I was rescued by All Might. And he was seriously injured by All Might. I didn't expect to meet him today. Su Yuan suddenly understood, and finally understood why Neko Miyagawa's body began to tremble after seeing the appearance of this man. It turned out that there was already a shadow on him. No matter what, let's call the police now and then think of a way to leave the office. Miyagawa Neko nodded and agreed with Su Yuan's approach. However, just when Su Yuan took out his mobile phone and was about to make a call, things did not develop so smoothly. Because the two of them were discovered by Shikun. However, Shikun was also very vigilant. He scanned the surroundings first, and then when he found that there were only Su Yuan, the corners of his mouth could not help but raise slightly. It seems that God is on my side this time. Ishimura sighed deeply. Neko Miyagawa hid behind Su Yuan in fear, pulling on the corners of his clothes with her hands, trembling. We have already called the police. Professional hero S will arrive soon. It's not too late for you to leave now. Su Yuan said deceptively. Oh, then I have to speed up, kill you two, blow up the office, and finally leave. Shi Kun said as he slowly approached Su Yuan. Miyagawa Neko, on the other hand, grabbed the corner of Su Yuan's clothes, getting tighter and tighter. You go first and then call for reinforcements. I will resist here for a while. Su Yuan said in a deep voice. This, this is not good. Miyagawa Neko replied softly. Then, how about you resist for a while, and I'll call for reinforcements. I can run faster and be more suitable for this plan. Su Yuan replied. As soon as she finished speaking, Miyagawa Neko hurriedly said, I. I'll go. Remember to hurry up. Su Yuan did not forget to tell him. Miyagawa Neko nodded and ran away. At present, there is only one method that is the best. The fact that he can escape from All Might's hands proves that his strength is not weak. If two people confront him here, it is very likely that neither of them will be able to escape. You want to run away. Do you think you will be as lucky as last time? Can that guy All Might still save you? Ishimura said, waving directly to Neko Miyagawa. Suddenly, a ball of white liquid rushed up from the ground and turned into the shape of a palm. He opened his hand and grabbed Miyagawa Neko. On Su Yuan's side, one arm turned into sand and quickly floated towards Miyagawa Neko. Bang! The sand and the white liquid collided together, and suddenly the liquid and sand were flying around. At this moment, Su Yuan stepped onto the only path to pursue Miyagawa Neko. Boy, I have no enmity with you. I don't have to kill you, but you must let me kill Miyagawa Neko. Seeing that Su Yuan was capable, Ishimura made such a suggestion. However, Su Yuan is very cautious and generally cannot trust the words of villains. Then how can you prove that you only killed Neko Miyagawa, instead of killing Neko Miyagawa and then focusing on me? Su Yuan said in a deep voice. Indeed, what Su Yuan said is not unreasonable. If Miyagawa Neko is not killed, he may be distracted when fighting Su Yuan. Has Miyagawa Neko found reinforcements? Should he retreat now? If Miyagawa Neko is killed, he can concentrate on dealing with Su Yuan, and then the chance of being double killed will be much greater. 
If this is the case, I can only kill you, and then kill the other one. I won't waste much time, Ishimura said coldly. Then he quickly ran towards Su Yuan. While waving his hands, two groups of white liquid appeared directly around him. Then, the liquid turned directly into two transparent spikes. It hit Su Yuan. On Su Yuan's side, he slapped his hand directly on the ground, and two larger sand spurs rose up directly, and then flew up out of thin air. It hit the two liquid-shaped thorns. The moment they collided, the liquid thorn slipped away from the edge of the sand spur. After leaving the sand spur, it turned back into a liquid thorn and hit Su Yuan. Su Yuan quickly dodged. With a rumbling sound, the liquid spike finally hit the field, and the liquid flew everywhere. I forgot to tell you that when you are weak or about the same as me, no one can catch the liquid I create. Ishimura said proudly. Whoever wants to catch your liquid is so disgusting. As long as I catch your person, you will lose. Su Yuan said calmly. Don't you understand yet? My body is as slippery as the liquid I create. With your strength, I'm afraid you can't catch me even if I stand here. Ishimura said confidently. Judging from the collision just now, Ishimura thought that his quirks had completely restrained Su Yuan's quirks. How can you know if you don't try it? You think so, right? Su Yuan said, with a sizzling sound, his hands turned pitch black. Hearing this, Ishimura sneered, all you have done is in vain, just one minute. With that said, Shi Kun raised a finger towards Su Yuan and continued. I only need one minute to defeat you. Aha! Ishimura pulled out the long sword worn at his waist, and the cold light flashed directly from the blade. Then, he ran wildly and rushed towards Su Yuan. His movements are very fast, if Su Yuan has not trained in the past month. It is absolutely impossible to keep up with Ishimura's speed. Su Yuan had no weapons and could only use his armed hands to block his slashes. Bang bang bang. Every time the sword came down, he could vaguely see sparks flickering in his hand. Hitting, hitting, Shikun couldn't help but become confused. Didn't this kid's quirks turn into something like sand? Why now it's turned into something like defensive quirks? Even a knife can't cut through it. He was thinking to himself, but he quickly discovered a pattern. That is, every time Su Yuan catches it with his hands, not his legs or other places. Boom, with the last impact, Shikun did a backflip and was some distance away from Su Yuan. I have already seen your weakness. In this way, your originally meager winning rate will no longer exist. Ishimura said with a grin. Su Yuan ignored him and attacked him. Upon seeing this, Shikun also waved his hands, and immediately following, two large groups of white liquid suddenly appeared on both sides of Su Yuan. It's over, Ishimura said in a deep voice. As soon as he finished speaking, two dozen groups of white liquid began to merge as quickly as possible. Once the merger is successful, Su Yuan will be in danger, because the liquid is not ventilated and trapped inside, he is likely to be suffocated to death. Moreover, the most important thing is that Ishimura's liquid is not an ordinary liquid. It can harden instantly and turn into something like a puddle of water in an instant. However, in Su Yuan's eyes, there are too many ways to escape from this attack. Elementalization is a good way, but at this moment, Su Yuan wants to prove something. I saw him opening his hands in the direction of the combined liquid on both sides. Seeing this scene, Shi Kun laughed at Su Yuan's naivety and said, The moment you choose to follow, you are destined to be shattered to pieces. In just a few seconds, the liquid on both sides had reached Su Yuan's side. However, when Ishimura was surprised, the liquid stopped doing his bidding at this moment. What's going on? Why can't it be softened? Ishimura said in confusion. At this moment, Su Yuan also knew that armament hockey could restrain his white liquid. Then, the next thing will be easy to handle, Su Yuan said in a deep voice. Immediately, the arm turned into a huge sand blade, and only the sound of shwashwashua was heard, and the liquid blocks on both sides shattered directly and finally collapsed. Immediately afterwards, he jumped up and continued to swing the sand blade in his hand to slash directly at Ishimura. Ishimura quickly took the long knife in his hand to block the attack. Bang! His long knife was shattered. Ishimura frowned and quickly dodged to the side. Sand blade. The ground cracked directly. Even the surrounding city walls collapsed. A heavy voice sounded among the billowing dust and mist. 
I was careless this time. Boy, I will save your life and Miyagawa Nako's. Next time we meet, I will definitely kill you two with my own hands. After saying that, Ishimura jumped directly and wanted to jump to the roof, but unexpectedly, he suddenly found that his feet were caught. Want to leave? I haven't agreed yet, Su Yuan said, and then fell heavily to the ground. Just as he remembered a rumbling sound, thick smoke and dust flew up, and at that moment, a figure broke through the smoke and dust. It landed on another roof. Ishimura's face was very stiff and his brows were furrowed. He lowered his head slightly and looked at the foot that had just been grabbed by Su Yuan. It was now skin and bones, which looked a little scary. What did that kid just do? Shi Kun was confused at this moment. His intuition told him that this person was too weird. He seemed to be full of weaknesses, but in fact, he was full of dangers. All he could think about now was one word, escape. I admit, you are the strangest person I have met in so many years. Do you dare to tell me your name? Ishimura said in a deep voice. Ha ha. Su Yuan sneered and said, remember, my name is Baku Hao Sheng Ji. Okay, Bakugo Katsuki, I will remember you. Sooner or later, I will pay back double what I have received today. As he spoke, he waved his hand again, and a huge ball of liquid flew into the sky, followed by it, and crashed directly in the direction of Su Yuan. Su Yuan's whole body quickly turned into sand. Boom. At least half of the training grounds of this agency have been turned into ruins. In the thick smoke and dust, a pile of sand merged together and finally turned into Su Yuan. If it weren't for the fact that the armed color could restrain his liquid, it would be really difficult this time. Su Yuan said in a deep voice. Then he scanned the dilapidated grounds around him and couldn't help but sigh. I waited there for about five minutes, but I still didn't see Nako Miyagawa. Su Yuan is about to leave. Who knows if the man named Shikan will bring his accomplices back to get him. As soon as he walked out of the door, Su Yuan saw something flying over that subverted his three views. Yes, it is a western-type dragon, and the dragon is still holding Miyagawa Nako. Seeing this situation, Su Yuan hid directly and subconsciously. Because he didn't know whether this dragon was a rescuer brought in by Nako Miyagawa, or an accomplice of the villains. If he messed around, he would only risk his own life. However, luckily, this dragon is the rescuer brought in by Nako Miyagawa, Dragon 9, who ranks 10th among professional hero s. Let me explain here, because I don't know if it is correct or not. I looked at the information and it said that Long Ju was the 9th ranked hero s but that was not after All Might retired. And the current timeline, All Might has not retired yet, so the author is currently the 10th ranked professional hero s. If the author made a mistake, please leave a message in the comment area, or add a skirt and tell me. With a, step, sound, when Long Ju landed on the ground, he instantly transformed into a human body. She wears a Chong Som, has short hair, and wears something like a dragon's claw on her head. Is this right here? Long Ju asked Miyagawa Nako behind him. Yeah, Nako Miyagawa nodded and said. There seems to be no movement here. There is a high possibility that your friend will be in danger. Long Ju said as he arrived at the door of the office. Miyagawa Nako didn't reply. He didn't know if Su Yuan was still alive. If Su Yuan dies, Miyagawa Nako will probably feel guilty for the rest of her life. He won't die, Miyagawa Nako suddenly said. Long Ju was stunned, glanced at Miyagawa Nako, and comforted, I'm just guessing. Don't get excited yet. You stay here, I'll go in and take a look. If you follow me in, you can't help much. Miyagawa Nako nodded. Su Yuan heard everything they said. Since he was not a villain's, there was no need for him to hide. Nako Miyagawa, you are finally back. Su Yuan said, walking out of the corner. The moment Nako Miyagawa saw Su Yuan, she was startled, while Long Ju looked at Nako Miyagawa. After being stunned for a few seconds, Miyagawa Nako ran directly towards Su Yuan, then hugged Su Yuan tightly, tears streaming down her face. Su Yuan, who was hugged, was also frightened by Miyagawa Nako's sudden action. It scared me to death. It scared me to death. I thought you were dead. Miyagawa Nako said hesitantly. Su Yuan smiled. My life is very tough. Is he Su Yuan? Long Ju asked standing there. Yeah, Nako Miyagawa replied. Is there anyone else in the office? Long Ju continued to ask. No, 
There are only two of us in the office tonight. Miyagawa Nako said. Okay, the reinforcements from behind have almost arrived. When you come back with us, we will tell you the whole story. Now, let me go inside and take a look first. After Long Ju said a few words, he walked directly into the office. Long Ju walked in vigilantly and looked around carefully. When she entered and saw the ruins, her heart trembled. What happened here, just now? Didn't that girl say that there were only two people left in the office today? Could it be the one named Su Yuan? After Long Ju said that, he didn't continue. Her thoughts are a little confused now, and she can't figure out what is going on here. Is that kid capable of rivaling villains? Or are there other professional hero s here? But what if? What about people? Are you continuing to chase the wanted criminal, or what? These are possible. After a while, Long Ju saw the piles of white liquid blocks, and walked in the direction of the white liquid blocks. Suddenly, there was a sound of, sand. Long Ju seemed to have stepped on something and looked down subconsciously. Sand, why is there sand here? Could it be that, during the battle, someone's quirks had something to do with the sand? Reaching out and grabbing a handful of sand, Long Ju raised his head slightly and muttered, what does quirks have to do with sand? It seems that we don't have this in our professional hero s right. Is it a new professional hero s? After pondering for tens of seconds, Long Ju continued to walk towards the white liquid block. At this time, two hours had passed since the battle in the office. Su Yuan and Miyagawa Neko are currently still in the office where Long Ju is working. So, you didn't take action to fight the villains. Long Ju stared at Su Yuan sitting on the stool. Su Yuan didn't reveal any flaws. Anyway, the only one who knew that he took action was Shi Kun. He didn't want to get into unnecessary trouble, so he wouldn't admit that he was the one fighting Ishimura. Therefore, at this moment, he said calmly without blinking, No, at that time I wanted to risk my life and let Nako Miyagawa call for support. Logically speaking, it should be me who took action, but then suddenly came a mysterious man. We got into a fight with the wanted criminal, and then I took the opportunity to hide. After hearing what Su Yuan said, Long Ju nodded, neither saying he believed it nor saying he didn't believe it. What are your quirks? Long Ju continued to ask. I'm not sure. I tested it once when I was a kid, but it wasn't very stable. I won't test it anymore. Su Yuan said slowly. The one being tested is just a name. Please tell me what its properties are. Probably the body can turn into something like sand. Su Yuan had no intention of hiding it. After all, if he wanted to become a hero, sooner or later someone would know about it. Okay, I understand, you two wait here for a while, your father will come to pick you up. Long Ju said and left. Su Yuan and Miyagawa Neko were the only ones left in the hall, but Miyagawa Neko had already fallen asleep on the chair at this time. However, a lot of things happened today. Since Su Yuan had caught up on his sleep at school, he didn't feel much sleepy now. Chapter 11 It seems that we have to work harder to practice. Otherwise, if the villains is more arrogant, they will be helpless. Su Yuan's eyes gradually became firm. However, the office has been destroyed, and it is definitely impossible to practice anywhere. So, dot the only place is the pile of garbage on the beach. It feels so miserable. Su Yuan shook his head helplessly. Four o'clock in the morning. Su Yuan was already lying on the chair and fell asleep vaguely. Until a shout made Su Yuan open his eyes. Su Yuan, Miyagawa Neko, your relatives are here to pick you up. Long Ju walked in and shouted to the two of them. Both of them woke up from their sleep and slowly stood up. Su Yuan's mother rushed over, hugged Su Yuan, and said in a suppressed voice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's great that you're okay. Mom, are there many people watching? Su Yuan asked. So what if I see you? You are my son, can't I hug you? His mother replied. Su Yuan smiled and said nothing. He could generally understand their mood. If both husband and wife are professional hero s then they can't even protect their favorite son, so why would they protect others like this? Mr. Kitagawa Toyota, your son is smart, worthy of training, and very suitable for hero s. Long Ju suddenly said something from the side. At the same time, she glanced at Su Yuan from the corner of her eye. Of course, Su Yuan didn't know what she meant by this. Do we, 
husband and wife, have this intention. And Su Yuan also has this intention. Kitagawa Toyota replied. Well, that's a good thing. Long Ju replied. At this time, Miyagawa Neko's father walked up to Su Yuan and patted Su Yuan on the shoulder. What a good little guy. When faced with danger, he risked his life to let my daughter go first. If you don't mind, I will be your godfather. Miyagawa Shinben said seriously. Su Yuan frowned and said quickly, it's a trivial matter. As for this godfather, forget it. No matter what Su Yuan thought, he felt that this middle-aged man wanted to take advantage of him. If you really want to be your own son, Su Yuan has no meaning. I'm a straight talker, sorry. Miyagawa Kamamoto laughed. It's okay, it's okay. Su Yuan also laughed stiffly. At this moment, on the other side of Shikyun. Hateful. A man with horns on his head waved his fist angrily and hit the middle of a wall. Click. The wall directly lists weirdly shaped cracks. Endeavor's office, four brothers fell into their hands. The horned man yelled angrily. As he spoke, he cast his eyes on Ishimura. Eventually it landed on his skinny leg. Ishimura, what's going on with you? If I guessed correctly, the office you attacked was unoccupied, so why did you come back injured? Facing the horned man's greeting, Ishimura frowned and replied softly, Brother, I'm sorry, I was ambushed. Ambush, professional hero s. Yes, but the one who hurt me was a child named Bakugo Katsuki. Ishimura said calmly. He didn't dare to say that he was injured by a child, otherwise, his elder brother would never spare him. I will definitely kick myself out of this organization. Bakugo Katsuki, the horned man closed his eyes and then said, I haven't been active for a while. Let's secretly expand the number of people. Understood. In the blink of an eye, a week has passed. During this week, Su Yuan did not go to the beach again, but he did not relax about his cultivation. As for Miyagawa Neko, she has developed a good impression of Su Yuan since Su Yuan asked her to leave first last time. What to say? I want to go to the hero s department with Su Yuan. Occasionally she would come over and practice with Su Yuan, but every time she wouldn't last more than a while, she would just sit there and watch Su Yuan train. Night, Su Yuan took out four iron pieces from under the bed. Each piece weighs 25 pounds, and two pieces are tied to one foot and tied to the leg. Then, he secretly set off and walked towards the seaside park. Looking at this mountain of garbage, Su Yuan took a breath. Is there more garbage than before again? But it's okay, am I still scared? With that said, Su Yuan mustered up her energy and started exercising. In the blink of an eye, the time has reached 5 o'clock in the morning. However, this time, what was different from the past was that in the distance, a tall man and a short man were walking towards him. When the two of them saw Su Yuan who was frantically moving things below, they couldn't help but frown. Ha, huh, it turns out that the garbage with legs mentioned on the internet was moved by this boy. All Might said softly. What is he doing? Is he going to pick up this garbage and sell it for money? Izuku asked. No, he should be exercising. Exercise. Oh, I wanted to find a place where no one was around, but it's okay. As he spoke, All Might, who was originally tall and tall, suddenly emitted white gas. In a minute or so, he turned into a thin man, with blonde bangs hanging down along his thin cheeks. Because he was too thin, the shadows formed by his deep-set eyes made the whites of his eyes appear to be completely black, and his pupils were blue. This way, he won't know that I am All Might. Just in time, you two can still have a partner to train with. All Might continued. Midoriya Izuku nodded, and then the two of them walked towards Su Yuan. After Su Yuan discovered the two of them, he also stopped what he was doing. When All Might approached, Su Yuan already knew who the two of them were. When All Might saw Su Yuan for the first time, he recognized Su Yuan. However, he did not want to reveal his identity. Hello, boy, I have a boy who wants to come here to exercise, no problem. All Might said with a smile. Of course there is no problem. Baekwon Su Yuan said with a slight smile. Well, you can just call me Mr. O, and the boy next to you is Midoriya Izuku. All Might did not tell Kitagawa Su Yuan that he was the number one professional hero s All Might. Because he doesn't want others to know what he is like now. If we let the citizens know what they are like now, 
and no new symbol of peace appears, it is very likely to cause panic. The crime rate may even increase significantly. Since All Might wanted to hide it, Baekwon Su Yuan didn't say anything, smiled and said, My name is Baekwon Su Yuan. While speaking, Baekwon Su Yuan glanced at the two of them. Seeing Kitagawa Su Yuan's eyes, Midoriya Izuku showed a hint of fear on his face. But also, the previous Midoriya Izuku did not have quirks and was often bullied by Bakugo Katsuki. In addition, he should have just inherited All Might's quirks not long ago, and his character has not yet begun to be refined. Baekwon Su Yuan is different. Before time travel, he was an orphan and worked as a street gangster, although he accomplished nothing. However, his mentality is much higher than that of ordinary people, and he will not panic when encountering things. Okay, Baekwon boy, All Might said, thought of something, and continued to ask, do you come here often to exercise? Yeah, Baekwon Su Yuan replied, are you training so hard to become a hero? S. All Might continued to ask. Baekwon Su Yuan smiled and said, that's right. After graduating this semester, I will go to the Hero S department to take the test, so I have to work harder. Hearing this, Midoriya Izuku on the side heard this and cast his eyes on Kitagawa Su Yuan. What he never expected was that this person was almost the same age as him a year ago. The target turned out to be a hero. However, this is a good thing for All Might, because while training, Midoriya Izuku can also fight with Kitagawa Su Yuan, allowing both Midoriya Izuku and Kitagawa Su Yuan to grow rapidly. What a coincidence, the Baekwon boy and the Midoriya boy also have their goals as heroes, so you two should work hard during these days. All Might said with a smile. Baekwon Su Yuan nodded. Why don't you two give us a meeting gift first? All Might suggested. Meeting gift. The two looked at All Might with confused expressions. Yes, the meeting ceremony is a duel. All Might said. This is not good, Baekwon Su Yuan said with a bitter smile. Yes, Mr. O. Oh. Midoriya Izuku looked at All Might. It's okay. Fighting can make both people stronger. Boy Baekwon, can you control your quirks perfectly? All Might asked. Just do it. Baekwon Su Yuan replied. The Green Valley boy can't control his quirks yet, so for this duel, you just use Taijutsu alone. All Might said. You don't need to be better than Kitagawa Su Yuan to know that now Midoriya Izuku can't compare to him in terms of physical skills or quirks. As for the future, Kitagawa Su Yuan doesn't know, and Midoriya Izuku doesn't know either. I don't care, just watch Midoriya Izuku. Kitagawa Su Yuan replied. Midoriya Izuku gritted his teeth and said, I'm willing to give it a try. Okay, let's do it on that vacant beach. All Might said, stretching out his hand to point to the trash-free beach over there. In fact, All Might naturally had his reasons for letting the two of them fight. After all, if you get into Shangying, you will be your own student from now on. Even though Baekwon Su Yuan's physique is very poor now, if Quirks is good, All Might will try his best to train Baekwon Su Yuan in his own way. So for now, All Might needs to understand the specific strengths of the two of them. When Kitagawa Su Yuan and Midoriya Izuku arrived, All Might did not forget to give instructions. Two young men, please remember not to attack vital points. Understood. Midoriya Izuku replied. Baekwon Su Yuan nodded. Then, let's get started. All Might finished his words. Midoriya Izuku roared, quietly holding the fist in his hand, and rushed towards Kitagawa Su Yuan. When he was getting close to Baekwon Su Yuan, he was vigorously dancing and hammering with his fists, without any pattern. Slow. Dot too slow. Baekwon Su Yuan couldn't help but sigh, fighting like this is just a waste of time. Kitagawa Su Yuan tilted his body slightly, grabbed Midoriya Izuku's hand, and threw him onto the sand with an over-the-shoulder throw. Before Midoriya Izuku could admit defeat, All Might came over and said, the winner is obvious. Midoriya boy must work harder. Midoriya Izuku stood up slowly, I understand. After chatting for a few minutes, it was almost daylight. It's almost time for Baekwon Su Yuan to go back. His home is some distance from the seaside park, so he needs to go back in advance, otherwise, he will not be able to go to school in time. Kitagawa Su Yuan had just left, and now it was Midoriya Izuku's turn to haul away the garbage. 
All Might was sitting on top of the garbage, quietly watching Midoriya Izuku drag it. Speaking of All Might, do I want to be like Kitagawa Suyuan, dragging the garbage to the east, and then dragging it from the east to the west? Midoriya Izuku asked. Yeah, All Might replied. The reason why I call you the same as him is because of your body. My quirks are one for all. It can be said that they combine the extreme physical abilities of many people into one. A body that has not been tempered cannot bear it, and its limbs will fly apart and the body will explode to death. Extremities. Hearing this, Midoriya Izuku immediately imagined the image of his limbs flying apart and his body exploding to death. He quickly shook his head and shook off this thought. So, that means I came here to haul garbage in order to train to improve my physical abilities. Midoriya Izuku asked. All Might nodded and replied. As for the Baekwon boy, he was a complete accident. However, his goal is the same as yours, and he is also a hero. This way, you have company. When you are free, you can fight to keep the two of you together. Everyone is making progress. However, in the current situation, you are just looking for abuse by fighting with him, so you have to work harder. Green Valley boy, I think he is about the same age as you. Midoriya Izuku's face darkened and he nodded. Why choose Hero? All Might asked. Because, Yue is All Might's alma mater, so if I want to go, I will definitely choose Yue. Midoriya Izuku said slowly. All Might smiled and said solemnly. I have said before that Hero S is not a job that Quirkless is qualified for. Unfortunately, the reality is like this, not to mention that the Hero S department of heroes is the most difficult. Quote. Midoriya Izuku suddenly understood and said quickly. In other words, there are still 10 months until the entrance exam day, and you must practice your body well during this time. All Might nodded and continued. Well, only in this way can you inherit my inheritance. With that said, All Might took out many pieces of paper, handed them to Izuku Midoriya, and continued. This is my personal custom arrangement, take a look. Midoriya Izuku took it and looked at it carefully. This is a bit difficult, can you keep up? All Might asked. For the hero, it is necessary. I must work several times harder than ordinary people. Midoriya Izuku replied. If the plan customized by All Might is like hell in the eyes of Midoriya Izuku, then Su Yuan's plan is like hell in his eyes. Before I knew it, five months had passed. During these five months, Su Yuan trained with Izuku Midoriya every day, so he became quite familiar with them. There is a fight every week. In the past five months, there have been a total of 20 fights. 20 times, Su Yuan killed him instantly. Su Yuan doesn't know whether Midoriya Izuku has made much progress, but he knows that he has definitely improved a lot. The biggest one is the ability of the swish fruit. There is not much progress in the wisdom color and the armed color. As for conqueror's hockey, maybe it comes from somewhere in the system, although it can be controlled. But if it is released, it will not cause any harm to other people. Sunday. 11 a.m. At this time, on the beach. Su Yuan made a gorgeous move and threw Izuku Midoriya onto the beach with a bang. For the 21st time, Kitagawa boy wins. With that said, All Might walked next to Midoriya Izuku and continued, Midoriya boy, you have to work hard. Midoriya Izuku slowly got up and said with a wry smile, I have tried very hard, but I still can't survive 10 seconds in his hands. Don't be discouraged, you have also made progress, but the Kitagawa boy has laid a good foundation. All Might patted Midoriya Izuku on the shoulder. Yes, there are still five months left. I will try my best to catch up with Kitagawa Su Yuan. Midoriya Izuku replied. Su Yuan smiled. It would be very difficult to catch up with him in five months. After all, Su Yuan had not yet used his full strength when fighting Izuku Midoriya. If it were a life and death fight, Su Yuan could kill the current Midoriya Izuku instantly. Baekwon boy's talent is very strong, and he is very suitable to be a hero S. I believe that in the near future, your professional hero S will definitely emerge. All Might said with a smile. Maybe, Su Yuan replied. It's time for lunch again, let me treat you this time. All Might said patting Su Yuan and Midoriya Izuku on the shoulders. They both nodded at the same time. Inside a restaurant, Su Yuan took the menu unceremoniously and ordered basically everything he liked, since he didn't have to pay for it himself. 
As for Midoriya, Izuku might be saving money for All Might, no point. Do you still have training in the afternoon? Midoriya Izuku suddenly asked All Might. Of course, you will be more tired in the afternoon, so please eat a little full after this meal. All Might replied with a smile. Yeah, Midoriya Izuku replied full of fighting spirit. Of course, All Might gave him an extraordinary destiny, so how could he give up? If he gave up, he would be destined to be an ordinary person in this life. Where are you, Baekwon boy? All Might asked Su Yuan, who was sitting on the other side. I won't, I have something to do this afternoon. Su Yuan replied. He had already arranged the afternoon trip. Miyagawa Kamamoto's office had been renovated and a lot of equipment had been added. Of course Su Yuan wanted to give it a try. Oh, that's right, All Might nodded. By the way, the two of us dragged all the garbage in the seaside park up there. Even the garbage outside the seaside park is about to be cleared away. What should we do in the next days? Midoriya Izuku said towards All Might asked. This is indeed a problem, so Su Yuan dragged the garbage from the east to the west, and then directly pulled the garbage from the west back to the east the next day. However, since All Might came with Midoriya Izuku, he has been hauling away the trash and cleaning it up. Before you know it, even the garbage outside the seaside park will be cleaned up. The remaining garbage will not last a month if garbage is pushed over every day. Of course, this is just for Izuku Midoriya. If Su Yuan is included, he will be cleaned up in a week at most, no, maybe in a few days. All Might thought for a while and then said, this is indeed a problem. I'll take a look when I go back tonight. Okay, Midoriya Izuku replied. After chatting for a few minutes, the dishes began to arrive one after another. After more than half an hour, the three of them were full, leaning back on their chairs and burping. However, at this moment, Su Yuan saw a group of people running out of another high-rise building through the glass. Some fell down and rolled forward again. Just when Su Yuan wanted to say the above, the waiter shouted directly, Everyone, please evacuate here in an orderly manner. There was an attack on the building opposite us. As soon as the waiter finished speaking, the restaurant immediately turned into a mess. The crowd crowded out towards the door. Some of them tripped and fell to the ground. The people behind them did not pull them up, but stepped on them. They ignored the wailing of those below and squeezed out of the door. In Su Yuan's eyes, these are all too normal. When in danger, there are only a few who can stand up. They are all escaping for their own lives. Even whether they can survive is a question. There is no time to care about others. No matter where you are, or which world you are in, this is reality. Now, the restaurant has become a mess, with wailing and screaming incessantly. Some even started fighting just to get out of the gate a few seconds earlier. In this panic, Midoriya Izuku couldn't help but said, what should All Might do? All Might frowned, now he could no longer care about his identity being exposed in front of Su Yuan. Don't worry, it'll be okay. As he spoke, All Might squatted down. When he stood up, he had regained his burly figure. I'm sorry, Baekwon boy, for deceiving you. All Might said solemnly. Su Yuan, Su Yuan is a time traveler, how could he, All Might, deceive Su Yuan? Strictly speaking, it was Su Yuan who deceived them both. From the beginning, Su Yuan already knew that the thin man was All Might. All Might didn't wait for Su Yuan to reply. He immediately stood on the dining table and shouted loudly. Don't panic, everyone, it's okay, you want to ask why? Because I'm here. As he spoke, All Might revealed a smile. Hearing this, everyone turned around. Perhaps All Might had become the savior in their hearts. As long as All Might appears, everything will be fine. It's All Might. It's All Might here. We are saved. For a moment, some citizens shouted wildly, and even those who had just squeezed out, some couldn't help but squeeze in. He also shouted wildly, Baekwon boy, Green Valley boy, it's up to you two to evacuate them from here. All Might said in a deep voice. Then he jumped. He hit the glass directly, and with a clang, All Might was already outside. Immediately afterwards, he quickly walked towards the high-rise building where the accident occurred. Baekwon Su Yuan, All Might, he didn't hide it from you on purpose. The reason why he hid it from you is because. Midoriya Izuku talked and talked, but in the end he still couldn't tell because of something. 
Su Yuan said calmly. You don't need to explain anything to me, I know maybe more than you know. Ah, Midoriya Izuku looked at Su Yuan with confusion. Stop, All Might asked you to evacuate the crowd. Su Yuan said nothing and walked straight towards the glass wall where All Might had smashed a large hole. Didn't he ask us to come together? Then where are you going? Midoriya Izuku asked. I'm going to see if I can help. This is too dangerous. Don't worry about me, just mind yourself. While talking, Su Yuan had already gone outside. He looked around, chose the right moment, and slipped in. Su Yuan didn't see anyone on the first floor, but the things inside were in a mess. It was obvious that the place had gone through some process just like the one in the restaurant. After glancing aside, Su Yuan quietly walked up to the second floor. However, he did not use the elevator to go up. Instead, he followed the stairs and walked up to the second floor vigilantly. When he was halfway up the stairs, he heard a loud voice. All Might, if you dare, try it. I'll see which one is faster, you or mine. Su Yuan went up to the second floor and basically had a clear view of the situation outside through the crack in the door. All Might stood alone, his face very solemn, and he looked a little helpless. Standing opposite All Might was indeed a human figure, but with long animal hair all over his body. Behind him, there was a group of people squatting with their hands clasped together. Apparently, All Might was being held hostage by that hairy human. All Might, save me. One of the women, who was squatting and holding her head, couldn't help shouting towards All Might. As the woman finished speaking, the other hostages began to shout. All Might, please save me. All Might, you must rescue us. The cries for help continued, All Might's face became more serious, and he gritted his teeth tightly. Ha 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 ha, All Might, did you hear this beautiful cry for help? The hairy man said as he approached All Might. As long as you do what I say, I promise you, I won't lay a finger on them. But if you want to give it a try, I have no problem with it. A few lives in exchange for hundreds of lives, I think it's worth it. As he spoke, the hairy man had reached All Might's side. It's obvious that their goal is All Might, and they are cunning enough to know that they are not as powerful as All Might. So they kidnapped hundreds of people to blackmail All Might. As soon as the long-haired man put his hand on All Might's shoulder, All Might subconsciously grabbed his hand and was about to grab it and throw it to the ground. The hairy man quickly shouted, All Might, think clearly, there are still hundreds of lives in this building in your hands. As soon as he finished speaking, All Might stopped what he was doing. However, at this moment, the hairy man's long hair suddenly stood up and began to stretch, like a silver needle, piercing directly into All Might's body. All Might subconsciously jumped back, his face very stiff. PFF, a large mouthful of blood spat out from All Might's mouth. Suddenly at this moment, a little girl stood up crying and shouted towards All Might. All Might, please leave quickly. Before the little girl could finish her words, she was pulled down by her mother. My dear, what are you talking about? He hasn't even rescued us yet. Boom, All Might was kicked by the hairy man again and hit the door where Su Yuan was. Thick smoke and dust slowly rose. A soft voice sounded among the smoke. Baekwon boy, why are you here? It's very dangerous here. Leave as soon as possible. All Might said in a deep voice. How long can you hold on? Su Yuan suddenly said. You leave quickly. All Might replied. Now you only have this choice, otherwise, even if you take your life, I don't know if you can get their lives back. After all, how can you trust what such a despicable person says? If you want to get other professional hero s over, I'm afraid it will take more time, so you have to trust me. Su Yuan said slowly. All Might thought for a second and said, five minutes. I'll try my best. But Quirks sighed. Su Yuan paused as he said. If something goes wrong, I, All Might, will be responsible. You can use it to your heart's content, but you must pay for it with the minimum casualties. All Might said in a deep voice. Okay, the other hostages are on the last floor, Baekwon boy, you should be more careful yourself. All Might warned. Su Yuan nodded and quickly started to rush upward. This building has a total of 20 floors. Without knowing which floor the hostages were on, Su Yuan would never have been able to complete this task in five minutes. However, luckily, All Might casually asked the fleeing citizens when he came in. 
Only then did I find out that there were hostages on the second and last floors. As for whether they changed layers later, perhaps, only they know. Su Yuan didn't dare to delay now. Five minutes sounded like a lot, but in fact it was very fast. However, in All Might's eyes, this might be a very difficult time. Whoa, 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 Su Yuan kept grabbing the armrest, and then jumped. It took exactly three seconds to reach the first level, no more, no less. On the last level, Su Yuan no longer jumped, but quietly lurked up. In this way, it only took a minute and a dozen seconds. However, the staircase door on the last floor was closed, and Su Yuan could not observe the situation inside like the second floor. If you want to observe, you have to open the stair door. To open or not to open? This thought suddenly flashed through Su Yuan's mind. Now, he has no time to weigh the pros and cons. In the few seconds he was confused. There was a, click, sound. The stair door opened, and Su Yuan was tensed. However, he would not attack rashly, which would only make things worse. However, one still needs to be vigilant, and he must be on guard against emergencies at all times. Card. As the door opened, a tall man in his twenties with red hair appeared in Su Yuan's sight. When the man saw Su Yuan for the first time, he was obviously shocked. However, he soon returned to normal and shouted, Hey, there's another brat hiding here. As soon as the words fell, another echo came from behind them. Bring him here and see if there is anyone else besides him. Understood. After saying that, the man turned to Su Yuan and said, You brat, do you want to walk over by yourself, or should I drag you over? I'll go there by myself. Su Yuan replied softly and walked inside. The situation is similar to that on the second floor. Including the person who just went to patrol the stairwell, there are three people here. Except for the criminal who is standing, the others are squatting and holding their heads in their hands. However, Su Yuan saw someone he knew among the crowd. Yes, she was Yaoyorozu Momo. Su Yuan was stunned for a moment, then walked towards the direction where she was squatting. Finally, he squeezed and squatted down next to her. Are these the criminals? Su Yuan asked softly towards Yaoyorozu Momo. Yaoyorozu Momo was stunned, looked around, and after confirming that Su Yuan was talking to him, he replied with a puzzled look on his face, Are you? Answer me. No, besides these three, there are also hairy people who went down. Yaoyorozu Momo replied. Su Yuan thought for a few seconds and realized that the hairy man Yaoyorozu Momo mentioned should be the man he saw on the second floor. So, if we follow what Yaoyorozu Momo said, there are only four people in this gang. Are you sure? Su Yuan continued to ask. Yeah, they started at the top. Yaoyorozu Momo replied. Thank you. Su Yuan replied, then turned to look at the surrounding situation. There was a criminal standing in front of him and a criminal standing behind him. Behind the criminal standing behind is an escape door. Now, he has a way, that is, to create a thick sand wall in front, and then quickly break through the back. However, this is also risky, because he doesn't know the strength of these people, and he doesn't know how long the sand wall can last. But, now, there is no time for Su Yuan to think about this. I saw him putting his hands on the ground. What are you going to do? Yaoyorozu Momo asked softly when he saw this. Of course we are doing business. As soon as Su Yuan finished speaking, the ground immediately changed. In the blink of an eye, the ground turned into sand. Su Yuan waved his hands, stood up, and muttered, Desert Wall. Boom, the sand began to flow and gathered together, forming a huge sand wall, blocking the front. Yaoyorozu Momo, you are responsible for clearing the crowd. Leave the man behind to me. As soon as Su Yuan finished speaking, he quickly ran towards the man behind. Yaoyorozu Momo was stunned. He didn't know how Su Yuan knew his name, but he had no time to care about it now. You guy, what on earth did you do? The man also ran towards Su Yuan angrily. Su Yuan jumped up, turned his hand into a sand blade, and slashed him directly with the knife. Aha, just when everyone thought it had no effect, the man's whole body suddenly withered. Su Yuan was slightly surprised. He didn't expect to kill this man with one blow. With that said, Su Yuan quickly ran to the escape door and punched it. With a bang, a big hole was made in the wall and door. 
If you don't want to die, leave quickly, but don't use the elevator, and don't go down to the second floor first. After giving instructions, Su Yuan quickly returned to the front. There was a roaring impact on the sand wall, and he probably wouldn't be able to hold on much longer. In more than 20 seconds, the crowd was almost gone. Let's go together too, Yaoyorozu Momo shouted towards Su Yuan. When I leave, they are bound to catch up, and it will be as if I didn't come, so I have to hold them back. In addition, you quickly reach the second floor and shout, and the Baekwon boy says it's okay. Su Yuan replied. Yaoyorozu Momo was stunned for a moment, without asking why, he nodded, immediately turned around and started running. At this moment, there was a bang on the sand wall, and two figures rushed over. The red-haired man glanced around and found that everyone had run away. The withered corpse lying on the ground was one of his companions, and he couldn't help but frown. Asshole, what did you do? The red-haired man shouted angrily at Su Yuan. This guy, this guy, I must kill him. The red-haired man's accomplice, Okada Choshiro, began to look ferocious, staring at Su Yuan with his eyes. I wish I could devour it in one gulp. Go to hell, go to hell. Okada Choshiro shouted loudly. As soon as these words fell, Su Yuan suddenly felt as if his whole body was being suppressed by something. Is this his quirks? Su Yuan said solemnly. And Su Yuan guessed correctly, this is Okada Choshiro's quirks gravity. However, his ability can only be used on one person or other thing at a time. As for the strength of this quirks, it all depends on the individual's level of development. The current gravity, Su Yuan can detect, is about 150 kg to 250 kg. For Su Yuan, the impact is not very big, it is just a speed limit. Kill him, Okada Choshiro said towards the red-haired man. The red-haired man nodded, and finally a ball of fire emerged from his hands. Without saying a word, he threw it towards Su Yuan desperately. Whoosh, 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 continuous fireballs flew towards Su Yuan. Su Yuan quickly dodged and all the fireballs hit the sand. No one dares to use all their strength here, because if the fight is too fierce, the building will collapse. Shu Shu Shu, the fireballs continued to attack Su Yuan, and the speed was faster than before. After a backflip, Su Yuan could no longer dodge the next fireball. At this moment, a wall of sand suddenly appeared in front of him. Bang bang bang, the fireball fell directly into the sand wall, and was finally completely swallowed up by the sand wall. Then, at this moment, Okada Choshiro came behind Su Yuan without knowing when. Take your life to worship my brother. Super gravity crushes, Okada Choshiro raised his fist and hit Su Yuan. Moreover, his fist was wrapped with white gas. Following the punch, there was a loud bang, and a wall of the building was blown away. Billowing smoke filled this lair. At this time, Su Yuan only had his feet still standing, and the other parts of his body were gone. You can't even withstand one of my blows, you're just a loser. Okada Choshiro said in a deep voice. Let's go get the hostages back quickly, otherwise, it will be dangerous over there. The red-haired man said. The hostages dare to escape. If I catch them, I will break their legs, Okada Choshiro said angrily. At this time, the red-haired man suddenly shouted. No, it's not good, Choshiro, look. Okada Choshiro immediately turned his attention back to Su Yuan's remaining legs. He saw that the sand on the ground was constantly gathering on his body, slowly recovering at a speed visible to the naked eye. What, what's going on? Okada Choshiro was startled and took a step back subconsciously. What kind of quirks is this? It actually has the ability to resurrect. The red-haired man said in shock. It was so dangerous. Did you think you were going to be killed? You scared me. Su Yuan, who had recovered, couldn't help but complain. Hearing this, the red-haired man and Okada Choshiro quickly moved away from Su Yuan. I don't know if Yaoyorozu Momo has reported to All Might. For safety reasons, I still have to go down and have a look myself. Su Yuan said calmly. Then he slapped his hands on the ground. Shikai. As soon as he finished speaking, an invisible force flashed across the building. In an instant, the top layer turned into sand, and then everything was pressed down. Swish, swish, swish. In a matter of seconds, the sand buried the three of them, and the sand on the edge fell to the ground from the roof. Bang, bang, 
The red-haired man and Okada Choshiro quickly climbed up from the sand. Is that guy crazy? He buried himself. Okada Choshiro said in a deep voice. I guess he's really crazy. The red-haired man cursed. Be careful, don't fall, this is the 20th floor. Okada Choshiro warned. I'm wondering how we get down. The red-haired man asked. Just let me help you. Suddenly, Su Yuan's voice came from the low sand. Immediately afterwards, the sand on the ground they stepped on began to move like river water. They began to pile up toward one side, and finally slowly synthesized the Shikai giant, which was dozens of times larger than them. It looked similar to the shape of an armored warrior, but it was made of sand, so it was only yellow. After Shikai was formed, he reached out and grabbed a handful of sand from the ground. The next moment, the sand turned into a particularly large sand hammer. What on earth are this guy's quirks? Can he still play like this? The red-haired man said in confusion. At this moment, on the second floor of the building. Dick, All Might's clothes were stained red with blood. Ha ha, the symbol of peace, the number one of the professional hero S is indeed not just an empty name, he is very powerful, and his life is not ordinary hard. The hairy man said as he continued to approach All Might. But, All Might, your era will end today. Ha 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 ha. As soon as he finished speaking, the hair on the hairy man's body once again stretched crazily like silver needles. Zitsa, All Might blocked the spear attack with his hands, but blood quickly stained his own hands. Although he was helpless now, he still showed a smile. My era will eventually come to an end, but not today, nor in your hands. All Might, leave quickly. You will die if you continue like this. A girl who looked to be only in her tens cried loudly. Hearing this, All Might smiled at the little girl and said, it's okay. Let's see how stubborn you can be. The shaggy man shouted angrily, and the shaggy man once again attacked All Might like a silver needle. Zizizi, pff a large mouthful of blood spit out from All Might's mouth again. I'm sorry, Baekwon boy, I can't hold on anymore. All Might felt that his eyelids were getting heavier and heavier. Tap tap tap. Suddenly, at this moment, there were rapid footsteps on the stairs. No one has arrived. A voice was heard. The Baekwon boy said yes. As soon as he finished speaking, Yaoyorozu Momo also walked in, but saw the hairy man, All Might, and some hostages. Yaoyorozu Momo frowned and said, Sorry, I called you by the wrong name. After saying that, Yaoyorozu Momo turned around quickly and started running towards the first floor. The hairy man frowned and cursed loudly, those three trash can actually let people escape. As he said that, he was about to chase Yaoyorozu Momo, but a hand suddenly placed on his shoulder. The hairy man turned around and saw All Might, and his anger couldn't help but rise a lot. It seems that you are anxious to die. I'm very angry today. As he said this, All Might's other hand had already clenched into a fist. What are you going to do? Are you going to trade my life for hundreds of lives? All Might. The hairy man suddenly stood up when he saw All Might tightening his grip. It's over. Detroit is smashed. All Might shouted and punched his head into the ground. With a bang, the floor on the second floor was directly impacted and a huge hole was opened, while the wall on the second floor was cracked with spider web shaped cracks. The whole building was crumbling, as if it might collapse at any time. All Might turned around, smiled at everyone and said, it's okay. The villains have been defeated by me. As the words continued, the citizens stood up and shouted, All Might. All Might, leave quickly, it's not perfect here. All Might said in a deep voice. Everyone nodded and began to walk towards the stairs in an orderly manner. The little girl walked up to All Might, bowed deeply and said, Thank you, All Might. After that, it was time for the little girl to leave. When the crowd on the second floor was almost evacuated, All Might couldn't hold on any longer and quickly found a place to hide. Now, he has returned to his thin appearance, sitting on the ground, breathing heavily. At the same time, Su Yuan sighed. Okada Choshiro also began to frown, and shouted loudly towards the huge Shikai with both hands. Hypergravity control. As soon as he finished speaking, there was a bang, and an invisible force directly pressed on Shakai's body. You are dissatisfied. The sand hammer in my hand weighs nearly one ton. Do you think your hundreds of kilograms of weight gain will have an effect on me? Su Yuan stood on Shakai's forehead and crossed his hands, on the chest. 
As soon as Su Yuan finished speaking, the red-haired man gathered a huge fireball in his hands. Go to hell, the red-haired man shouted, just as he was about to direct the fireball at Shikai. Who knows, Su Yuan has already controlled Sha Kai to swing the huge sand hammer down with one strike. Even someone dropped the ball with a ball, and with a bang, the building shook violently, and a corner collapsed and fell to the ground. Immediately afterwards, there was another roar, and thick smoke slowly rose. As for whether the red-haired man burped or not, Su Yuan doesn't know, but what he can guarantee is that he will definitely be half-disabled even if he doesn't die. Unforgivable, absolutely unforgivable. Before Okada Choshiro finished speaking, with a bang, Su Yuan also gave him a hammer. Immediately afterwards, another corner of the building collapsed. Now we can go down and take a look at the situation at All Might. Su Yuan sighed, just as he was about to control Sha Kai to jump directly from the 20th floor. A voice sounded again. You idiot! Su Yuan was stunned when he heard the sound, and at this time, Okada Choshiro climbed up again with difficulty. I'm going to kill you. I'm definitely going to kill you. Boom, followed by another hammer. More and more walls of the building are crumbling. It should have fallen now. Su Yuan muttered, who would have thought that just after he finished speaking, Okada Choshiro's words came again in the thick smoke and dust. Don't you dare let me finish my sentence. Su Yuan frowned and replied, the desire to survive is very strong. Just as Su Yuan was preparing for his next attack, Okada Choshiro punched the ground directly. Kakaka, the surrounding area began to collapse, and the entire 20th floor collapsed. Both Su Yuan and Okada Choshiro fell from the 20th floor at this moment. Does this fool want to die together? On the way down, Su Yuan quickly controlled Sha Kai and turned the sand hammer into a hook, which directly hooked onto the 19th floor. But Shikai was already heavy, plus the impact of falling, so when he hooked on the 19th floor, still rushing down, he didn't stop until the 15th floor. Looking at the crack in the middle of Daxia, Su Yuan sighed. Suddenly, at this moment, came the loud shout of Okada Choshiro. Hypergravity control. Su Yuan suddenly felt as if his whole body was pressed by a huge thing, and he fell directly from Sha Kai's body. Call, he was falling very fast. Su Yuan frowned and quickly transformed into elements, turning directly into a pile of sand. Okada Choshiro fell to the ground first, followed by a loud boom and thick smoke and dust. Immediately afterwards, sand began to fall from the sky. The shikai that was originally hanging on the wall has disappeared. In the smoke and dust, heavy footsteps suddenly sounded, and a figure appeared next to Okada Choshiro. I didn't expect it. I'm still standing. You really spent a lot of money at the last moment. If I guessed correctly, you must have gained nearly a ton of weight for me. I can't imagine what would happen if a body that was not strong and weighed nearly a ton fell from the 20th floor. Su Yuan said in a deep voice. However, Su Yuan's guess was not wrong. Okada Choshiro forced Su Yuan to gain weight by using quirks in a life-threatening way. It was supposed to damage Yaoyorozu himself and injure the enemy a thousand times. Unexpectedly, Su Yuan would become elemental and dodge this attack. Now, Okada Choshiro was lying in a deep pit, motionless, and his whole body was limp. His eyes looked at Su Yuan standing unwillingly. After Su Yuan finished speaking, he turned around and prepared to leave. As for Okada Choshiro, he would naturally be arrested when the professional hero S arrived. However, at this moment, two figures suddenly fell in front of Su Yuan. And these two people are Hero S, Jungle Kamui and MT. Lady, the young and powerful group whose popularity is rising rapidly today. Is he a wanted criminal? Mount, Lady asked the MT. Lady next to her. Jungle Shinwei shook his head and said, I don't know, I have never seen this person, but you also saw it just now. He suddenly turned into sand in midair. The strength is not weak. If it were a professional hero as we would all have heard of it. As soon as she finished speaking, M.T. Lady nodded, looked at Su Yuan, and said in a deep voice, Who are you? A professional hero S. Or a criminal in this attack? Su Yuan was slightly startled. It seemed that the two of them doubted themselves. I just happened to be passing by. Su Yuan said deceptively. Don't lie. We all saw you fall down together with the person behind you. I don't know who the person behind you is yet, 
but you look a little strange. Jungle Shenwei said slowly. Su Yuan frowned. Isn't this nonsense? His popularity is so small now, so it's not normal for him to be unfamiliar. Just when Su Yuan was about to continue explaining, luckily, All Might walked out. He is indeed not a member of the criminal gang. Hearing this, they both turned back at the same time. All Might, All Might slowly walked up to Su Yuan, patted his shoulder, and then said with a smile, He is, my apprentice. Su Yuan looked at All Might with a puzzled expression, but he soon understood something. Yes, I am All Might's apprentice, Baekwon Su Yuan. Su Yuan replied. Jungle Kamui and MT. Lady were slightly surprised. Unexpectedly, All Might actually had an apprentice. He was just helping me deal with this group of criminals. If nothing happens, he and I will leave first. All Might said in a deep voice. Wait a minute, Baekwon Su Yuan. Who is the one who fell with you? Jungle Kamui asked. The wanted. Su Yuan replied and followed All Might out of here. As expected of All Might's disciple, his whole aura is different. Jungle Kamui sighed. Look at him, he's not weak at all. Mount, Lady added. Perhaps, All Might is going to train him to become a new symbol of peace. Jungle Kamui said, walking towards the big pit. Looking at Okada Choshiro lying on the ground, he frowned. Mount, Lady followed slowly and asked, Is he a wanted criminal we are familiar with? Yes, he is Okada Choshiro, the jungle god replied. Did the one named Baekwon Su Yuan defeat him? Mount, Lady asked curiously. M. I. Lin smiled mightily. I came with you, you don't know, how could I possibly know? At this time, what Su Yuan and the others didn't know was that All Might had taken on a disciple. Turns out to be a very young boy. S News continues to become more popular on the internet. Of course, this was not sent by the divine power of the jungle, or by MT. Lady, but by one of the trapped people who happened to come out and heard it. All Might was seriously injured. In order not to let Izuku and Su Yuan know about it, he found a reason and left. Su Yuan also returned home. As for going to Miyagawa Shinben to experience the equipment, he had to postpone it. Ding ding ding. Not long after he got home, Su Yuan's cell phone rang. Hello, Dad, what's wrong? Su Yuan answered and asked. After Su Yuan finished speaking, there was a rustling noise on the other side of the phone. Seeing no reply for a long time, Su Yuan was slightly stunned and continued, Dad. Su, Su Yuan, a vague voice came from the other end of the phone. Am I, what's wrong, listening to this voice? Su Yuan suddenly had a bad feeling in his heart. You are so old, you get so excited when talking to your son. Hearing this, Su Yuan heard a swipe sound, followed by his mother's voice from the phone. Su Yuan, it's me, your mother. What happened? Su Yuan asked worriedly. It's okay, my parents called me just to ask you, when did you become All Might's apprentice? His mother asked. All Might. Su Yuan was stunned for a moment, and then the expression on his face began to become richer. No, mom, how did you know this? Su Yuan looked confused. Could it be that his parents were also present? Of course, this is not impossible. At that time, he followed All Might away without looking around. You unfilial son, if it hadn't been exposed on the internet, I wouldn't have known that you and All Might were in a master-disciple relationship, his mother yelled. Exposed online. Su Yuan was very confused at this moment. You can't hide it. By the way, as he said that, Su Yuan could clearly feel that his mother's tone had softened. Son, All Might is my parents' idol. Look, choose a time and ask him to come to our house for dinner. Hearing this, Su Yuan's face gradually stiffened and he frowned. Mom, stop talking, I have something to do. With that said, Su Yuan took off the phone and hung up. When he hung up, he heard his mother scolding the unfilial son. Alas, Su Yuan sighed. I wanted to search for All Might's apprentice, but as soon as I entered, the news about All Might's apprentice was pushed over. This is, Su Yuan was stunned when he saw this piece of news. He quickly opened it. Shocked, All Might's apprentice is actually a young man named Baekwon Su Yuan. Su Yuan looked at the title and read it subconsciously. Moreover, it also comes with a picture of All Might and Su Yuan walking side by side. However, due to the heavy smoke and dust around, the photo is very blurry, 
and most people would not know who it is if they are not very familiar with it. As for how Su Yuan's name was leaked, it was probably when All Might said he was his apprentice and then introduced himself. Then the article probably said that Su Yuan assisted All Might in saving the hostages in the building. Only 10% of the story is true, the rest is just random writing. Then I read the comments and realized, well, luckily, they were all leaning towards All Might. First floor, is this true or false? Is All Might really accepting a disciple? Second floor, without knowing whether this situation is true or false, I will just silently be a fan. Third floor, at first floor, I heard that the editor was the victim at the time. He heard with his own ears what All Might said to Jungle Kamui and the others. However, he wanted to take a video at that time but was too late. Fourth floor, All Might's apprentice. It seems that the second symbol of peace is about to be born. Fifth floor, ha, huh, Baekwon Su Yuan is not from our school. When did you become All Might's apprentice, you fool? Looking at the various comments, Su Yuan felt a little dizzy. In this way, a few days passed. Su Yuan has become a slightly famous person even before he joined Shangying. And, what's worse is that since this news has not been confirmed, it is inevitable that some gossip reporters will go to Su Yuan for confirmation in order to gain more airplay. At this time, many reporters came around Su Yuan's house, and Su Yuan looked helpless. However, his parents were different, they were extremely excited. Our son is going to be famous. Our son will be even more famous than us before he becomes a professional hero s. Su Yuan's mother jumped up and down with joy. Mom, what are you doing? Su Yuan said speechlessly. Su Yuan, please find a time sometime and invite All Might to come to our house for a meal. Kitagawa Toyota added. Dad, you too. Su Yuan was about to cry without tears. We, parents, can't even make a small request. Okay, okay, I'll call but if he doesn't come, it's another matter. Su Yuan said in a lie. However, there is no doubt that All Might is loved by many people as the number one professional hero s and as a symbol of peace. My own parents are a good example. At this time, Su Yuan received a call from All Might. Baekwon boy, I'm sorry, I didn't expect it to develop like this. All Might said apologetically. It's okay, it has already happened, there is nothing we can do about it. Su Yuan replied with a smile. Let's do this. I will convene a press conference to clarify this matter. Su Yuan nodded. It's okay. They can't go crazy for a few days. Now it's just because it's fresh. I believe it won't be long before it becomes less popular. Um, All Might replied. Nothing else, I'll hang up now. Okay, All Might replied. And in the next few days, All Might held a press conference and admitted that he had taken on a disciple. On this day, the internet was in a state of excitement, but it did not last long. After a few days, the popularity dropped, and after a few days, basically no one was talking about All Might's apprentice. A month had passed since the incident in the building, and Su Yuan's life had returned to normal. After this incident, he relaxed a lot in his cultivation. He originally planned to go to Nako Miyagawa's father's office to look at the equipment a month ago, but it was only now that Su Yuan found an opportunity. Well, see you later. Su Yuan hung up the phone in his hand, looked at the scene outside the window, and sighed. After calming down, he went out. Miyagawa Shinmodo office. Su Yuan, no wonder you are so powerful, it turns out you are All Might's disciple. Nako Miyagawa said her eyes slowly showing respect to Su Yuan again. It's been a month, are you still mentioning this? Su Yuan was speechless, he had almost forgotten about it, but suddenly someone else mentioned it again. However, since All Might announced that he was his apprentice, the biggest change that Su Yuan felt was that everyone in the school respected him. Even the principal told Su Yuan that if it was too tiring to perform tasks with All Might, he didn't have to come to school. What an amazing thing this is, I will never forget it in this life. Nako Miyagawa replied. Su Yuan was speechless and changed the subject. By the way, Nako Miyagawa, how is your progress here? Are you sure you can enter the hero s department? Hearing this, Miyagawa Nako was stunned for a moment, then pouted and said angrily, Su Yuan, haven't I told you many times? We are all so familiar, just call me Nako. Su Yuan smiled bitterly and said, I forgot. HMPH. 
Miyagawa Nako curled her lips and continued. I still want to enter the hero S department with Su Yuan. It seems that I have no hope. I am too weak. As she spoke, her face was full of disappointment. It doesn't have to be a hero S subject to produce excellent professional hero S other schools can do it too. Miyagawa Nako nodded. In addition to restoring the previous equipment in Miyagawa Kamamoto's office, he also spent a lot of money to purchase five robots. These five robots all have attack power. Although they are not strong, their defense power is very strong and they can basically withstand ordinary attacks. Want to try? Neko Miyagawa asked when she saw Su Yuan looking at the five robots. Do I have to pay for it if it's broken? Su Yuan asked. Facing Su Yuan's unexpected greeting, Miyagawa Neko rolled her eyes at him. Shouldn't you ask some normal questions? For example, is this robot's attack strong, will it lose control, etc. Compared to these, I think my problem is more normal. Su Yuan laughed. Humph, it's really worthless. That looks like you. Your dad has a firm, and my dad works for your dad. Su Yuan joked. No need to compensate. Neko Miyagawa said helplessly, rolling her eyes at Su Yuan. You can try it then. Then, Neko Miyagawa started the robot and tested it with Su Yuan. This robot gave Su Yuan the feeling that it was not very useful. Whether it was movements or reactions, it was much worse than humans. Strictly speaking, this robot is nothing more than a steel sandbag. As for ability, there are two modes, one is the training mode. The attacks in the training mode are very weak and basically not considered an attack. There is also villains mode, which is activated when encountering villains. The kind that has greater attack power, can launch missiles, etc. After trying it for a few times, Su Yuan stopped trying. It didn't mean much, so he went to the gravity room and continued his practice. Time flies like an arrow, and the sun and moon fly like a shuttle. In the blink of an eye, it was the day before the heroic test. Due to the appearance of Su Yuan, it has slowly caused quite a butterfly effect in the world of My Hero Academia. Just like Midoriya Izuku, in the original work, All Might inherited his one for all on the day of the final hero test. However, due to the appearance of Su Yuan, after the incident in the building, All Might passed on one for all to Midoriya Izuku. Moreover, he has been practicing with one for all's quirks for more than four months now. Even in this aspect of his personality, there have been many changes. At least he is no longer the crybaby he was before. However, one for all's quirks are very powerful, and with Midoriya Izuku's physique, it is really difficult to control them in a short period of time. For example, when I was sparring with Su Yuan using quirks for the first time, Midoriya Izuku broke out one for all. As a result, Su Yuan put his arm in before he could hit him. Today is the last day and tomorrow we will start a new journey. Green Valley Boy, Baekwon Boy, are you ready? All Might put his hands on his hips and said with a smile. Yeah, Midoriya Izuku nodded confidently. Su Yuan did not disturb their interest and nodded. Today we will have a special training. Hearing this, Midoriya Izuku and Su Yuan were stunned and asked curiously. What kind of special training? That's, you two join forces to attack me. The other thing is, Green Valley Boy, you have to be careful. Tomorrow is the hero's test. Don't hurt yourself, All Might said. Midoriya Izuku nodded. Understood, I will pay attention to it myself. Chapter 21 Midoriya After Izuku finished speaking, All Might nodded and then continued. This is the first time you two have fought together. I wonder if you can work together well. If you enter the hero S department in the future, you will have to work together a lot in the future, and you still need to master this aspect. After all, when you meet villains in the future, a person's power is always limited. Only by uniting can we create miracles. All Might slowly explained to Su Yuan and Midoriya Izuku. Midoriya Izuku looked at Su Yuan on the side. To be honest, he really wanted to know what Su Yuan's weakness was. So, All Might, does Su Yuan have any weaknesses? Midoriya Izuku asked aloud. Weaknesses, of course everyone has them. All Might's answer made Midoriya Izuku full of interest, and he asked expectantly, what is his weakness? His weakness is, actually, I don't know, Green Valley Boy. All Might replied with a smile. Midoriya Izuku was slightly disappointed, 
but he also felt that a person as powerful as Su Yuan should be perfect in his own right. As he spoke, All Might suddenly spoke again. However, Bai Quan Boy, you are too obsessed with cultivation, and it is appropriate to gain. If you are too obsessed, your body will not be able to support it. Su Yuan smiled and replied, Don't worry, I'm not that stupid yet. Well, that's good, All Might said, and then took Su Yuan and the others to a beach. Immediately afterwards, All Might changed from a thin form to a muscular form. Before we start, you two can discuss tactics and such. All Might reminded them both. The two were silent for a while, and Su Yuan first replied, No need, we don't know much, let's just start like this. Su Yuan is right. Discussing tactics when we are unfamiliar with each other is like adding a framework to ourselves. In this case, the performance is not as good as adapting to circumstances. Midoriya Izuku said slowly. All Might was slightly startled. It seemed that there was some truth in what he said. The next second, the corners of his mouth raised slightly. From Su Yuan and Midoriya Izuku, he seemed to see the symbol of peace in the future. Okay, I'll listen to you and adapt accordingly. All Might replied. After a while, the battle was about to begin. Su Yuan and Midoriya Izuku stood on the left and right of All Might respectively. Want to besiege him from both sides. All Might smiled slightly, revealing a confident smile. Up, Midoriya Izuku shouted, clenched his fists and ran towards All Might. However, since he is not yet able to control one for all, he does not use quirks. Ah, he then shouted, then jumped up moved his fist, and punched All Might in the abdomen. Snapped, All Might stood motionless and received the punch. Young Green Valley boy, you didn't punch hard enough. All Might replied. As he spoke, All Might stretched out his hand and flicked it with his fingers. With a, boom, Midoriya Izuku flew backwards. At this moment, Su Yuan has appeared behind All Might. The fist was about to hit his back, but All Might was very fast, turned around, and directly grabbed Su Yuan's fist. However, due to the impact, All Might took a step back slightly. Ha, huh, the Kitagawa boy can punch well, but Rikido is strong enough. All Might said with a smile. Immediately afterwards, he also raised his other hand. Seeing this scene, Su Yuan also knew what he wanted to do. Just like Izuku did with Midoriya, just throw the direct missile away. The moment he popped up, Su Yuan directly transformed into an element, and the airflow that popped up passed through Su Yuan's body. All Might was slightly startled, but at this time, Su Yuan had recovered his body on the right side. A leg swept over, and All Might quickly blocked it with his hands and subconsciously moved back. Well, that's very good, Kitagawa boy, you use quirks very well. All Might said with praise. Of course, All Might was telling the truth. After Su Yuan used elementalization to avoid his blow, he quickly recovered and swept towards him. At his age, it is not an easy thing to be able to rely on quirks so perfectly to perform combos. If Su Yuan's strength increases a lot, it is really possible that he can hurt All Might. Ah, at this moment, Midoriya Izuku got up and ran towards All Might quickly. The difference this time from last time is that he actually used one for all. Colorful light particles wrapped around his arm. Green, Green Valley Boy. Seeing Midoriya Izuku using one for all, All Might couldn't help but become worried. Because, in the eyes of All Might, if Midoriya Izuku used one for all, either his arm would be broken or his leg would be broken. Don't worry, I'm sure of it this time. When All Might heard this, he frowned and quickly dodged. Midoriya Izuku punched down, and with a bang, a crater was created on the beach. And he, there was no doubt that his arm was repelled by the impact. Midoriya Izuku gritted his teeth, grabbed his arm that was blowing in the wind, and frowned. Accident, accident, all might sighed, and then said in a deep voice, hurry up and take care of it with me. Maybe you will have problems in the test tomorrow. After all might took Izuku Midoriya to heal his injuries, Su Yuan stopped practicing. For the rest of the day, he was ready to take a good rest. Anyway, Tomorrow's test was just a piece of cake for him. Unconsciously, it has been almost a year since I came to this world. Su Yuan sat on a rock by the sea and sighed. A year ago, he was just a wage earner who got up early and came home late every day, doing repetitive things more than 360 days a year. Like a mummy, 
Fortunately, God may have taken pity on him and allowed him to come to this world and gain a new life. Maybe my childhood dream of dominating the world can be realized in this world. Su Yuan murmured to himself. After returning home, Su Yuan's parents also came back and prepared a rich dinner. Is the office okay today? Seeing that his parents were back, Su Yuan couldn't help but ask. It'll be fine that day when you see the office, but we are coming back tonight on leave. Su Yuan's mother replied. What about us, son? Are you sure about the entrance test for UA tomorrow? Kitagawa Toyota asked. If there are no accidents, I think it should be fine. Su Yuan replied. That's good. You are All Might's apprentice. If you can't even get in as a hero, not only will you be embarrassed, but All Might's face will also be embarrassed by you. His mother said seriously. Su Yuan frowned, ever since he took on the title of All Might's disciple. Every conversation his parents had was about All Might. But, luckily, at least he's sane. After dinner, do we want to practice? Kitagawa Toyota asked. Su Yuan shook his head. Today, he just wanted to be lazy for a day. Okay, if you don't want to, just have a good rest at night. Kitagawa Yuda told him. The next day, morning, Su Yuan met Midoriya Izuku on the way to Yuying. Is your hand okay? Su Yuan asked, looking at Izuku's intact arm. Well, it's barely cured. Su Yuan, are you sure about today's test? Midoriya Izuku asked. Ha, huh, we have, you haven't. Midoriya Izuku's strength at this time is much higher than in the original work. After all, in the original work, Midoriya Izuku only inherited All Might's quirks one for all during the entrance exam. The appearance of Su Yuan brought him five months ahead of schedule. In five months, he has made a lot of progress in all aspects. I don't know, I'm a little nervous now. Midoriya Izuku replied. Su Yuan glanced at him and smiled, which was pretty good compared to how nervous he was now. Come on, the entrance exam shouldn't be too difficult. Su Yuan said. It must be very simple for you. But as for me, Midoriya Izuku stopped talking. While they were talking, they had arrived at the entrance test venue of Shangying High School. Both of them stopped and looked up at Shangying, a high school. Suddenly, at this moment, an impatient voice came over. Get out of the way, smelly Jew. Hearing this, Midoriya Izuku turned around. When he saw Bakugo Katsuki, he was slightly surprised and said, Kachan. Bakugo Katsuki put his hands in his trouser pockets and shouted, Don't block my way, or I will kill you. If the former Midoriya Izuku heard this, he would be scared to death, but more than ten months have passed since then. His weak character has long since transformed. Midoriya Izuku smiled. Sorry, Kachan. Midoriya Izuku's move directly surprised Bakugo Katsuki. However, he didn't say anything. He was stunned for a moment and prepared to continue walking forward. His eyes suddenly glanced at Su Yuan. Immediately after, he stopped. All Might's Apprentice, Baekwon Su Yuan. As this sound rang out, the people who were walking in front turned around. Hey, it's true, All Might's Apprentice. Wow, I didn't expect that he would also come to take the hero's exam. Such a person can join the heroes without taking a test. He's so strong, and I heard that he often performs missions with All Might. In the last time inside the building, I heard that he was fighting against the gangsters alone. Why is he so good? Nonsense, otherwise why would All Might accept him as his apprentice? As soon as they finished talking about Su Yuan, they turned their attention to Bakugo Katsuki and started talking. Hey, look, isn't this Bakugo Katsuki? Who? Another asked confused. Do not you know? The other man shook his head. That's the victim of the sludge incident. Oh, I remembered, it turns out he is the person responsible for the mud incident. Yeah, I didn't expect that he would also come to take the exam. Although they spoke very quietly, Bakugo Katsuki still heard them. Suddenly, the veins on his forehead stood up and he said to them, You two fools. From that school, believe it or not, I will kill you. The two men were so frightened that they immediately started running wildly. After yelling, Bakugo Katsuki looked back at Su Yuan, then turned around and walked inside. Midoriya Izuku looked at Su Yuan and smiled bitterly, his name is Bakugo Katsuki. He is from the same academy as me. Although his temper is a bit grumpy, he is still a good person. 
I know. Su Yuan smiled. Although he didn't know much about Bakugo Katsuki, he still had some basic knowledge. Really, Midoriya Izuku smiled awkwardly. It's almost time, let's go in. Su Yuan said, stepping in. Midoriya and Izuku followed closely behind. Hero S Department of Haroe High School, Exam Briefing Venue. Su Yuan glanced at the title and walked in. The design inside is a bit like the design inside a movie theater. Su Yuan found a seat and sat down, and Midoriya Izuku followed and sat next to Su Yuan. About five minutes passed, the lights in the room suddenly turned on, and the hero's exclusive logo appeared on the big screen. Immediately afterwards, a loud voice sounded. Everyone who is here to take the exam, welcome to my live broadcast today. Present Mike danced in front of the screen and shouted. Present Mike, English teacher at Hero High School, voice hero S. His task today is to explain the content of the test. Its ability is to use sound-related quirks and sounds to conduct sonic attacks and spread sound over a wide area. But don't look at him as an ordinary commentator. His terrifying volume, terrifying vocal range, and it is said that his cries at birth made the eardrums of doctors and parents bleed. Even when facing an opponent who is far away, the sound can be heard far away and over a wide area, possibly damaging the eardrum. Are you ready? Present Mike shouted again. As soon as the words fell, the whole place fell into silence. Present Mike was slightly disappointed and couldn't help but complain, it's so boring. After saying that, he went straight to the point and continued, if this is the case, dear candidates, I will now briefly explain to you the outline of the practical test. After this, the audience will participate in a 10-minute simulated neighborhood drill. You can bring any items. After I finish explaining, you will go to your designated drill venue. There are three types of imaginary enemies in the training ground, and there are a large number of imaginary enemies divided into three types. Each type has a corresponding score. And you, using your respective quirks, can earn points by defeating the imaginary enemy. This is your goal. Of course, the rule is, you can't attack the candidates taking the exam with you. As soon as present Mike finished speaking, a man sitting below raised his hand and asked. I have questions, can I ask them? Ida said. Of course, present Mike replied. On the list, there are four imaginary enemies. The first three have their own scores, but the fourth one does not. Shangying, as the country's number one higher education institution, made such a mistake. Before Ida finished speaking, present Mike waved his hand to signal him to stop. Okay, student number 7111, the question you asked is exactly what I want to talk about next. The fourth type of imaginary enemy has zero points. This is correct. In other words, their purpose of existence is to interfere with you. Every exam venue has such an imaginary enemy running around. Although it is not impossible to defeat it, there is no point even if it is defeated. So, my suggestion is that you should avoid him wisely. Everyone present suddenly realized, muttering quietly, and had to hide quickly when they saw the fourth imaginary enemy. Okay, that's all my explanation. Finally, let me share with you the motto of our school. Real hero s are the strong ones who can overcome the misfortune of life and rush to the other side. Come on, everyone. Present Mike finished his explanation and began to disperse, preparing to go to the corresponding examination room. Su Yuan, Midoriya Izuku called from behind. Ha, huh, Su Yuan turned around and looked at him with confusion. Which venue are you at? Midoriya Izuku asked. Su Yuan looked at which one he had in his hand, and then said slowly, practice venue A. What about you? Midoriya Izuku sighed and said, I'm in training venue B. Fortunately, you're in training venue A. Why do you say that? Because I'm afraid that you will be in the same venue as me and destroy all the imaginary enemies. Midoriya Izuku said his thoughts truthfully. Su Yuan glanced at him speechlessly, you think too much. So saying, and they moved on. Bakugo Katsuki, who was behind them, looked at the piece of paper in his hand that said exercise venue A, and couldn't help but laugh. After going out, Su Yuan and the others sat on the bus and arrived at the exercise venue A. After getting off the car, everyone in the car was shocked. Because the size of the exercise venue was a bit scary. He's the number one hero after all. He's so awesome, a man said excitedly. 
Yes, come on, as long as we pass the test, we will be one step closer to our dream. The man next to him replied. Don't forget what present Mike said. When you encounter the fourth imaginary enemy, don't be arrogant and think about defeating him. Otherwise, you will only suffer a loss. Of course I know this, who would be so foolish as to seek death? There's a lot of competition here. Another man sighed. What do you say? Asked a man who was not paying attention to his surroundings. Didn't you see? The Bakugo who was involved in the silt incident is also here, and Suyuan from Kitagawa is also here. With the two of them here, at least we are under a lot more pressure. No, it can't be. We are so unlucky to bump into the two of them. As they spoke, the two of them glanced at Su Yuan and Bakugo Katsuki secretly from the corner of their eyes, and frowned involuntarily. As for Bakugo Katsuki, he's over the moon right now. He doesn't care about anything now, he just wants to crush Su Yuan. Prove your strength and be the best. Just when everyone was standing there thinking it hadn't started yet, present Mike's voice sounded again. What are you doing? There won't be any countdown in the actual battle. The competition has already started, so hurry up and run. The words fell. Undoubtedly, it was Bakugo Katsuki who reacted the most, directly, using his quirks, and burst into flames. Quick entry. In a hurry, he didn't forget to turn around and glance at Su Yuan's movements from the corner of his eye. However, in comparison, Su Yuan was not as motivated as him. He followed the crowd and moved forward in small steps. Seeing Su Yuan who was so unmotivated, Bakugo Katsuki felt unhappy for some reason. What the hell is this idiot doing? Bakugo Katsu cursed loudly. Could it be that this fool doesn't regard me as his opponent? Bakugo Katsuki was suddenly stunned and stood on the top of the building. Of course, the above things were all imagined by him, Bakugo Katsuki. Su Yuan actually thought that he could just get a quota and join Shangying. Why bother yourself so much, fighting for that meaningless first place? Soon, the crowd began to disperse in all directions, and Su Yuan walked onto a road alone. Just walked a few steps. There was a, boom. A green-skinned robot came running over. Zizizi. Target locked. Kill. The green-skinned robot directly smashed its heavy arm towards Su Yuan. Su Yuan jumped up subconsciously. Boom, the ground was directly shattered by his punch. In midair, Su Yuan's feet turned into a huge sand blade and swept towards him. Whoosh, the green-skinned robot split into two halves, first emitting thick black smoke, then making a loud noise and exploding. How many points is this? Su Yuan fell to the ground with some doubts, but he didn't think much about it, no matter how many points he got. At this time, Midoriya Izuku's side was also going well. Although he might not be able to take first place, it was not difficult for Midoriya Izuku to enter the top three. It's great that I'm not assigned to exercise venue A. Otherwise, the chance of being eliminated will definitely be greatly increased. Midoriya Izuku sighed. Bakugo Katsuki is not that scary when he goes crazy. If Su Yuan goes crazy, many people will probably be upset. Not long ago, All Might also reminded Izuku Midoriya that Su Yuan is 100% ready to enter the Hero S department. It's just that the quota of recommended candidates is already full, so if he goes to test, it's just a formality. Moreover, Shangying's principal has told All Might that even if he doesn't come to take the entrance test today, Shangying will still want him. Because, in the eyes of the principal, Baekwon Su Yuan is All Might's apprentice, so he has the qualifications to come to Shangying. It's natural that he can be favored by All Might. At this time, in the backstage of the exercise venue, the opposite side of dozens of screens was filled with people. They were all staring at the screen, observing every move of these candidates. In this practical test, the number and location of the villains were not told to the students. The time was limited and the venue was huge. They must stand out under such conditions, have the intelligence to grasp the situation as quickly as possible, and the mobility to respond to any situation. The principal looked at the screen and said slowly. By the way, the performance of Baekwon Su Yuan should be very good. Suddenly an excited person asked. I have been paying attention to this candidate, but his performance is not very good. In comparison, Bakugo Katsuki in the training venue a performed even better. One of the women replied. Bakugo Katsuki, I also have a vague impression of this name. 
Is there anyone outstanding at training venue B? Exercise venue B is relatively average, there are no outstanding people. It seems that this year's harvest is quite good. No, it's just the beginning now. If you want to see their value, you have to look at what's next. With that said, the man opened the safety cover and pressed a button. That's right, this button releases the fourth type of imaginary enemy without points. Their function is to interfere with the candidates. Exercise Venue A The moment the man pressed the button, there was a vibration at the exercise venue. The ground began to collapse, and thick smoke and dust rose in all directions. Immediately afterwards, a super-huge green-skinned robot appeared in front of everyone. What kind of score is this? It's so big, it can't be the zero score, right? Su Yuan was stunned for a moment, then turned around and started running. Anyone who wants to do such a thankless thing can do it, and Su Yuan will never do it anyway. The green-skinned robot used his huge body to punch the ground directly. Immediately afterwards, the airflow mixed with sand and dust began to fly around. Others, too, started to turn around and run wildly when they saw such a huge robot. All Might, your apprentice is not doing very well. The professional hero S standing next to All Might joked. After spending some time with Su Yuan, All Might certainly knows something about him. Usually it's not a particularly serious matter, and it won't do him any good. If you want to see something amazing from him, don't even think about it. All Might smiled and replied, it depends on personal interests. He doesn't like to attract attention. Really, the professional hero S heard this and laughed. It sounded like he didn't believe it, but All Might didn't argue with him because there was no need. Anyone who takes this kind of thing seriously will lose. So big, interesting, that guy will definitely be the one to take the lead. Defeat him. As long as I'm one step ahead, I can prove that I'm stronger than him. Bakugo Katsuki thought with a smile on his lips. Then, he quickly ran towards the huge green-skinned robot. And Su Yuan has already gone to the other side and is slowly killing the little green skin. Swish, swish, swish. Bakugo Katsuki arrived in front of the big green skin in a short time and glanced around. Um, very good, Su Yuan is not here. As long as I defeat you in front of that guy first, it counts as crushing him, right? Bakugo Katsuki said with a sneer. After acquiescing to his idea, Bakugo Katsuki did not hesitate, jumped up, and launched an attack on the huge green-skinned robot. The red light on the green-skinned robot's head suddenly flashed. Bakugo Katsuki detected. Lock target, launch. As soon as he finished speaking, there was a whoosh, and a golden light wave shot directly towards Bakugo Katsuki. Bakugo Katsuki was stunned and quickly used his quirks to change his trajectory in the air. The golden light wave hit the ground and instantly caused a huge explosion. The strong air flow directly ejected Bakugo Katsuki in midair. Of course, there were also candidates around who were also affected by the airflow. Immediately afterwards, there was a distant shaking on the ground. What happened? Su Yuan stretched out his hand to block the airflow and murmured out of curiosity. Now, as for Bakugo Katsuki, he just climbed out of the ruins. Before he could complain, the green-skinned robot sent another light wave down. Bakugo Katsuki's eyes nearly popped out of his head as he quickly dodged. Immediately afterwards, there was another loud bang. At this moment, Bakugo Katsuki was confused. Is this really just to disturb us? He was trying to kill me every minute. He frowned and looked around, but he didn't find his competitor Su Yuan. Is that guy so scared that he hides? Bakugo Katsuki muttered. Dong dong dong. The ground began to shake, and in the thick black smoke, the green-skinned robots attacked again. Scan successfully, target found, launch. Call out. A beam of light penetrated the smoke and shot directly at Bakugo Katsuki. Bakugo Katsuki now has 10,000 grass and mud horses galloping in his heart. How can he dare to think about defeating them now? With an attack like this, it would be nice to be able to hold on to your life. At this time, the backstage of the supervision examination room. Hey, hey, hey. Something's wrong with exercise venue A. How could the imaginary enemy be so powerful? All Might saw something fishy in these attacks and spoke. Hearing what All Might said, many professional heroes present reacted. You're right. That light wave just now can completely destroy weak candidates. 
Another professional hero s added. The principal of Shangying also stood up at this time and said in a deep voice, what on earth is going on? Everyone also shook their heads. They were completely unaware and the program was not wrong. They were also puzzled as to how such a green-skinned robot could be produced. This seems to be the imaginary enemy tested before. The robot was cancelled because its defense and attack were too large. A professional hero s who knew a little about it said. No, that robot is a bit difficult to deal with. Its defense and attack damage are much higher than that of the machine with zero points. But I'm curious as to who started it. Now is not the time to talk about this. If this continues, some candidates will definitely be killed or injured because of this green-skinned robot. All Might said with a solemn expression. All Might is right, we have to quickly find a way to prevent something like this from happening. The principal's face also looked a little solemn. As soon as the principal finished speaking, another voice sounded. This mistake is huge and will definitely affect the hero. Therefore, we try not to take action until the last moment. As he spoke, he cast his eyes on All Might and spoke softly. In the training venue A, isn't All Might's apprentice there? Is he capable of solving it? To be honest, All Might really didn't know this. He just used the name apprentice by himself. Strictly speaking, he is not his master. I don't know, All Might said in a deep voice. Then ask him to go over and try. If it doesn't work, we will take final action. After that, he contacted Present Mike and explained it in detail. After a while, a broadcast sounded in exercise venue A. Congratulations to the lucky candidate, number 7059, for getting a chance to pass the test directly. You only need to kill the zero-point mechanism. Time is limited, please proceed as soon as possible. Congratulations to the lucky candidate, number 7059, for getting a chance to pass the test directly. You only need to kill the zero-point mechanism. Time is limited, please proceed as soon as possible. This sentence has been broadcast on the radio. Su Yuan sat on the roof, was stunned for a moment, and muttered, isn't it me who is the candidate number? 7059, kill the zero-point mechanism and pass the test immediately. After thinking for a while, Su Yuan couldn't help but want to complain. Of course, if he had said this at the beginning, Su Yuan might still go. Now, his score for killing the little green skin may not rank first, but at least the top three is no problem. In other words, he can pass the test whether he goes or not, so he might as well rest and wait for the time to come. Su Yuan's every move is of course reflected on the screen in the eyes of the professional hero s in the background. Oh, all might, what's going on with your apprentice? Asked a professional hero s. Aren't you talking nonsense? Look at the score on the screen. He occupies the second place. In other words, he can pass the test even if he doesn't kill that one. So, of course he won't look for trouble on his own. All Might replied slowly. Now, we have to find a way to get him to interact with the machine. The principal began to think deeply. Speak directly. If you don't go, you won't let him pass the test. Although this method is good, have you ever thought about it? It means targeting him, so I will not allow such a thing to happen. The principal retorted. Otherwise, on the surface, if the machine is not defeated, all the candidates in the training venue will make up the exam on another day. All Might said. Everyone was silent for a while. Is this possible? The principal asked. I don't know about other people, but for a person who is afraid of trouble, you can give it a try. All Might replied. After deciding, they quickly contacted Present Mike. Immediately afterwards, about 20 seconds later, a broadcast sounded in the exercise venue A. The most important part of passing the test is to beat the zero score institution. If not, all candidates will have to retake the exam on another day. The sound of this broadcast undoubtedly caused everyone in the training venue A to explode. The one who had the biggest reaction was Bakugo Katsuki. Because, now he has not got rid of the pursuit of this zero point imaginary enemy. Suddenly I heard another one that needed to be defeated in order to pass the test. In his mind right now, there are almost hundreds of millions of horses galloping around, let alone 10,000. Is everything that jabbering man said nonsense? Bakugo Katsuki cursed. At first, it was said that if you see this, it is best to dodge, and then you can find a designated candidate and defeat it to pass the test immediately. After that, 
you have to beat it to pass the test, otherwise, you have to make up the exam. This made Bakugo Katsuki feel that he was being fooled. What should I do? I need to defeat an imaginary enemy with zero points to pass the test. Around the corner, a deep voice sounded. Hearing this, everyone began to bow their heads and fell silent. It's not that they don't want to defeat this zero-point imaginary enemy, but that their strength doesn't allow them. If one person fails, he might lose his life in the test. How many points did you get? One of them asked. As soon as the words fell, someone quickly answered immediately. 10 points from me. I score 8 points. 15 points for me. Among these answers, the highest score is only 15 points. The highest score we have here is only 15 points. Do you think there is a good chance? With that said, before anyone else could speak, he immediately added, the chance of passing the test is equal to zero, because the one named Bakugo Katsuki and the one named Kitagawa Suyuan each account for 40%. So, the makeup exam on another day is our last chance. We must not defeat this imaginary enemy with zero points, otherwise, we will have no chance. The man explained slowly. Everyone was stunned and suddenly realized. You're right, the makeup exam is our only chance. So, in order to prevent Bakugo Katsuki and Kitagawa Suyuan, we have to intercept them both. A man noticed. But, present Mike said that candidates are not allowed to fight in private. Another man said. Stupid, who asked you to attack him? We just created obstacles for the two of them. Time is running out. As long as we hold on for the last few minutes, we will win. Everyone nodded reached an agreement, and divided into two groups, one looking for Bakugo and the other looking for Su Yuan. Immediately afterwards, a plan was slowly fermenting. At this time, Su Yuan sighed. After listening to present Mike's broadcast, his face became a little stiff. Obviously, Su Yuan has now realized that something is wrong. Did an accident happen? Su Yuan muttered. He clearly remembered that present Mike said at the briefing session that the best way to avoid an imaginary enemy with zero points was to avoid them. Then to the lucky candidates at the back, Su Yuan didn't think there was anything wrong at all. However, if you fail to defeat the zero-point imaginary enemy, you will have to retake the exam again. This turning point is a bit big. Why do the higher-ups suddenly want us to defeat an imaginary enemy with zero points? After thinking for a few seconds, Su Yuan couldn't figure it out. Forget it, let's forget about the makeup exam. I don't want to make another trip. No matter what their purpose is, they just need to let this guy with zero points fall down. Su Yuan murmured to himself, then jumped up to another high rise building. When they reached the top, the imaginary enemy with zero points also appeared in Su Yuan's sight. It's not too far away. After saying that, Su Yuan jumped up and quickly ran towards the zero-point imaginary enemy. All Might's method worked really well, and it made him take action right away. A professional hero S said. Now, let's see if he can deal with this imaginary enemy. Then, if there are a few people in the past, we can prevent any accidents and save him immediately. The principal said slowly. I'll go over there, All Might said. Okay, the principal nodded. As soon as the principal finished speaking, a professional hero S shouted loudly. What are these fools doing? After hearing this, everyone quickly looked at the screen. At this time, on the screen, Su Yuan was being blocked by eight people, preventing him from moving forward. It's hard to get Su Yuan to act. Where did this little person come from? Remember them all, points will definitely be deducted from these ones. Yes, points will be deducted points will be deducted, and the business will be delayed. The principal also frowned at this moment, contact present Mike quickly. A short time later, a broadcast sounded again in exercise venue A. Dear candidates, please don't forget that it is strictly prohibited for candidates to attack each other. Present Mike finished speaking, Su Yuan said to them, did you hear that your actions were all seen? HMPH, of course we know this, but who told you that we are going to attack you? One of the male candidates said. Oh, that's it. Su Yuan was stunned and seemed to understand something. Then from the looks of it, you are trying to stop me from defeating the imaginary enemy with zero points. Then, if I'm not wrong, you may want to retake the exam again. So what? The man continued to reply. Then I can't do what you want, 
because I don't want to go to this place again. Su Yuan said solemnly. Then you have to pass our test first, the man retorted. When Su Yuan heard this, he couldn't help but sneered and said, what? Just a few of you want to block my way. Not to mention anything else, now that Su Yuan wants to go there, even if he is given eight people, he still can't stop Su Yuan. Not to mention that there aren't those eight people now. Then try and see if you can get through. The man retorted. In terms of momentum, he is not inferior to Su Yuan, but in terms of strength, you have to compare to no. Su Yuan chuckled lightly, and when he was about to go over, the ground suddenly began to vibrate at a distance. Immediately afterwards, a loud voice came over. You idiot are hiding pretty well. As soon as he finished speaking, Bakugo Katsuki landed directly in front of Su Yuan, but without saying anything, he jumped up again and left quickly. Just when they felt confused, the previous group of candidates who were looking for Bakugo Katsuki came running over crying. Help, I won't take the exam anymore, I won't study Shangying anymore. I don't want to be hero s anymore, I don't want to be hero s anymore. Someone come and save me, I don't want to die yet. All Might, come and save me. Immediately after the cry for help ended, dozens of men ran towards Su Yuan. Obviously, what was chasing them was the zero-point imaginary enemy. The group of people who stopped Su Yuan before saw this and ran away immediately. At this moment, no one cared what their previous purpose was. Tap tap tap. In a matter of seconds, everyone was almost gone, and only Su Yuan was left standing there. Ding ding. The green-skinned machine glanced at Su Yuan and said, Target locked, launch. As soon as he finished speaking, there was a whoosh, and a beam of light flew directly towards Su Yuan. Su Yuan jumped up subconsciously, and the light wave directly hit the ground. There was a loud, boom, sound. A big hole was directly blasted into the ground. Su Yuan, who was on another floor, frowned and his mind went blank. Are you sure this is for exams? Not for killing people. Su Yuan cursed. The light wave just now didn't seem very powerful, but the effect was beyond Su Yuan's expectation. At this moment, the green-skinned machine made a sound again. Scan successful. Launch. Call out. Another light wave. Su Yuan quickly dodged and there was a loud bang. That floor was blown to pieces. Su Yuan landed smoothly on the ground and quickly clapped his hands on the ground. Desert Cage As soon as he finished speaking, a large ball of sand was ejected directly from the ground. Salad Salad all the sand hit the green-skinned machine, and in the next moment, it turned into four huge pillars of sand. His movement was temporarily blocked. The next moment, his hands covered armament hockey, and immediately after, he jumped up and moved his fist directly towards the red scanner of the green-skinned machine. Boom! The red scanner was directly destroyed by Su Yuan's punch. However, the action of the green-skinned machine not only did not stop, but also became more courageous. System failure, system failure. As it spoke, it kept emitting light waves. In just a few seconds, the surrounding area was blown to pieces. With the bombing, the green-skinned machines have broken free from Su Yuan's desert prison. However, it has lost its goal, which means it has entered a state of rage. Anyway, it just keeps emitting light waves. We don't have much time. If we keep fighting with it, we will have to take the makeup exam again another day. We can only try that trick, Su Yuan said in a deep voice. Immediately afterwards, a hand hit the ground directly. Desert quicksand. As soon as he finished speaking, an invisible force began to spread from the ground. Immediately afterwards, the ground was shaking like a piece of tofu skin. Wu, the ground turned directly into a desert, but the scale was not very large. The buildings on the sand began to slowly descend. Of course, the green-skinned machines were also in the desert. It is also slowly declining. Suddenly, the green-skinned robot seemed to find itself descending and began to change its shape. At his bottom, several blowholes appeared, followed by a boom. I want to bounce myself up. Just then, the unexpected happened. Bakugo Katsuki fell directly from the sky, placed his hands on the green-skinned machine, and shouted, Go to hell! As soon as he finished speaking, Bakugo Katsuki's hand suddenly exploded with crackling. The green-skinned machine was blown back to the desert, and then began to be swallowed by the desert. 
However, at this moment, the green-skinned machine changed again and wanted to spray again to bounce itself up. Su Yuan was stunned and quickly continued shouting, Speed up the flow! As the sound fell, a vortex formed in the desert, and the green-skinned machine began to rotate with this vortex. Soon, it was sucked into the center of the vortex, and a few seconds later, it disappeared from the sight of Bakugo Katsuki and Su Yuan. At this time, the backstage of the exercise venue. The principal sat uneasily on his chair, staring at the screen that had lost signal connection. Ding ding ding. At this moment, his cell phone rang. The principal looked away from the screen and answered the phone. Soon, a solemn voice came from the other end of the phone. He really didn't let us down, he did it. As this voice fell, the big stone that was weighing on the principal's heart finally fell. It's really unexpected. How are the others? The principal asked. Don't worry, no one died because of this, but one was seriously injured. It's good that no one died. If this incident spreads, I don't know what kind of test Shangying will face. The principal said slowly. Well, but having said that, this person named Baekwon Su Yuan is really quite capable. Quirks is very powerful, said the other end of the phone. Really, it seems that in the near future, another powerful professional hero S will be born. The principal said calmly. Another thought flashed through my mind. All Might, is this the heir you have found? If the principal's thoughts at this time were known to All Might, he would definitely say that the successor was found, but it was not Baekwon Su Yuan. Of course, I hope he can become a symbol of peace in the new era like All Might. The other end of the phone joked with a smile. The principal also smiled. Yes, he will definitely become a symbol of peace in the new era. Exercise Venue A. Bakugo Katsuki looked at the circular sand pit in front of him and frowned. From this moment on, he realized the gap between himself and Su Yuan. Now he had no hope of winning against Su Yuan. Before, he just wanted to keep suppressing Izuku Midoriya, but now he has a new goal, which is to surpass Su Yuan. Gritting his teeth, Bakugo Katsuki turned around and left with some reluctance. At this time, Su Yuan was sitting on the ground. The green-skinned machine was a bit unexpected. Is this strength really for the entrance test of Shangying? A candidate in the distance couldn't help but sigh as he looked at the land that had turned into a desert. Don't forget, he is All Might's apprentice. Another candidate replied. Alas, the zero-point imaginary enemy has been defeated. We have lost the opportunity to take the makeup exam again. Hero, there is no hope. What's your score? Asked another candidate. Nine points. So miserable. And you? Twelve points. You're not the same. Oh, we are unlucky. We are in the same training venue with a madman and a genius. Otherwise, we might have a chance. Another candidate said with a solemn expression. It's okay to be a genius. That lunatic named Bakugo, he robbed me of at least 10 points. I really hate him. The man complained. Stop talking, another man dissuaded. Why can't you say that he is a lunatic? Just as he finished speaking, a loud voice suddenly reached his ears from behind him. Supporting character, what are you talking about? Believe it or not, I will kill you. Hearing this, the man turned his head stiffly, and when he saw it was Bakugo Katsuki, his face suddenly became very stiff. No. Nothing to say. Fortunately, at this moment, present Mike's voice suddenly came from the radio. Otherwise, with Bakugo Katsuki's temper, he would really get into trouble with him. All candidates, please quickly gather at the gate of the exercise venue. Not long after the broadcast ended, all the candidates had already left the exercise venue. At this time, All Might and his group slowly walked out from the other side. Wow, this whole place has turned into a desert. A professional hero s side. All Might, what are his quirks? All Might was slightly stunned. As for what Su Yuan's quirks were, he really didn't know, and he never asked him. We can only make a rough guess based on the moves he used. I think it has something to do with sand. All Might replied. Well, that's right. I didn't expect that this year, a god-level candidate would come. The professional hero S on the side laughed. It's not just him. How many interesting students have come this year? Aizawa Shota said, leaning against the wall with his hands in his pockets. Yes, in addition to Baekwon Su Yuan, there are a few others who are also outstanding. As they spoke, they had already arrived next to the whirlpool. 
It seems that the imaginary enemy with zero points has been buried in the sand. A professional hero s said. Let me get him out. All Might said, then jumped up. In midair, he swung his fist towards the center of the vortex. Suddenly, a powerful airflow was created, which caused the sand in the center of the vortex to fly up a lot. However, the zero-point imaginary enemy figure was never seen. Disappeared. No, it should have been buried deeper. How did the Baekwon boy do it? At this moment, All Might couldn't figure it out. How are you? Did you see the zero-point imaginary enemy? One of the professional hero s asked. All Might shook his head. I think we won't be able to catch him. He should be buried deeper and lower. Deeper down, everyone looked at All Might in disbelief. After all, the center of the whirlpool has collapsed to a depth of 10 meters. How deep will it go? 20 meters, 30 meters, or is it deeper? The crowds at exercise venues A and B gathered together. Seeing that Midoriya Izuku was not counterattacked by one for all, Suyuan was slightly surprised. Could it be that he didn't use quirks in the test? Just when Su Yuan wanted to ask, Midoriya Izuku spoke first, how is it? Your score should be very high. Ah, well, it should be pretty good, but I almost have to take a makeup exam. Su Yuan smiled. Make up the exam. Can the hero test be retaken? Midoriya Izuku asked curiously when he heard Su Yuan say this. Didn't present Mike say anything to you? Su Yuan asked. What did you say? Midoriya Izuku said. Choose the lucky candidate to kill the imaginary enemy with zero points. Su Yuan replied. Midoriya Izuku shook his head. Present Mike didn't say it. Su Yuan was startled, then seemed to understand something and continued. Did you say that if you don't defeat the zero point imaginary enemy, you will have to retest another day? Midoriya Izuku still shook his head. No. Hearing this, Su Yuan had roughly guessed that the contents of training venues A and B were almost the same. However, it was probably an accident at exercise venue that caused those problems. Is it the zero-point imaginary enemy that caused the accident? Su Yuan muttered. Midoriya Izuku, an imaginary enemy with zero points. What, did you defeat the zero-point imaginary enemy over there? Su Yuan asked. Midoriya Izuku laughed awkwardly and said, No, the zero-point imaginary enemy in exercise venue B was not defeated. All the candidates in practice venue B acted according to present Mike's wishes. When they saw the imaginary enemy with zero points, they undoubtedly avoided all of them. Generally speaking, this kind of hard work is not thankless, and it may make you lose the possibility of being qualified. Smart people generally will not do it. Su Yuan smiled. It seems like you are pretty lucky over there. What if Su Yuan told Midoriya Izuku that most of the training venue A was in ruins? He was definitely in a state of doubt. Yes, Midoriya Izuku nodded. A year has passed, and Su Yuan has become increasingly confused about the plot of the original anime My Hero Academia. The only thing he still remembers is the incident of All Might's death. But he didn't know whether his appearance would cause a serious butterfly effect. Backstage at the exercise venue. The zero-point imaginary enemy can no longer be recovered. Aizawa Shota walked in and said to the principal sitting on the chair. The principal was stunned. What? Why can't it be salvaged? Is it because there is only one frame left? Aizawa Shota shook his head and said, No, it's because we don't know exactly how deep he was buried. Currently, there is no body of zero-point imaginary enemy within 10 meters of the center of the bunker vortex. Did he do all this? The principal asked. Aizawa Shota nodded. Yeah. Even if it can't be salvaged, forget it. Anyway, it's just a failure. It's buried underground. Maybe it's his final destination. The principal said slowly. Aizawa Shota hummed. This time there was someone who interested him very much. At least he wouldn't be as boring as before. After going through some formalities, Su Yuan went home. The next week is spent waiting for notification. However, no matter how long he waited, he knew that he had already passed the exam, and the next step was just to wait for the school to complete these procedures. After returning home, Su Yuan was a little surprised that his parents were at home. After changing his shoes, Su Yuan came to the living room. Mom and Dad, don't you have to go to the office? Su Yuan asked them curiously. Looking at their solemn expressions, 
Su Yuan had an inexplicable bad feeling. How about it? Didn't you fail the exam? His mother said first. Well, there is no problem in entering Shangying anyway. Su Yuan answered truthfully. That's good, it didn't embarrass us. After hearing Su Yuan say that there was no problem with the test, their expressions returned to normal. To celebrate your success in getting admitted to harrowing, we decided to take you to your grandpa's house for a few days. Kitagawa Yuda said calmly. Su Yuan's grandfather lived in a small town 400 kilometers away from here. Su Yuan spent his elementary school years in that small town. It wasn't until he was in junior high school that Su Yuan came here. After all, Su Yuan has not been back for almost three years. Going to grandpa's house, don't you have to go to work? Su Yuan asked curiously. We have asked for leave in advance. I heard that you were admitted to Yue, and Miyagawa Kamamoto is also happy for you. Kitagawa Toyota replied. Su Yuan was stunned, and instantly understood why they looked solemn just now. It turned out that they had asked for leave early in the morning, if he was not sure. There will definitely be a bit of nagging. Okay, it's time to relax, Su Yuan replied. Then pack your things quickly and we'll set off right away, Kitagawa Toyota said. So urgent, um, oh well. At this time, in a dark rental house, the screen of the mobile phone placed on the table suddenly lit up. Immediately afterwards, it began to vibrate with a ding 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 sound. Single quote. In the darkness, a hand stretched out and took the phone. After connecting it, a voice sounded. Hello. As the voice fell, the other end of the phone replied, Brother, I am Shikun. Ishimura, are you back? Well, after practicing outside for a year, I have made great progress. I have some grievances, and it's time to avenge them. Ishimura said in a deep voice. You mean, the Bakugo Katsuki who squeezed your feet dry? Well, the one named Bakugo Katsuki is just an appetizer for me to destroy the Miyagawa office. Ishimura said slowly. Not long after you went to retreat to practice, there was a report on Bakugo Katsuki in the news. Really, Ishimura became slightly interested. Yes, if All Might hadn't appeared, that guy would have died at the hands of the sludge monster. Isn't that right? That guy Bakugo Katsuki can only die in my hands. By the way, Brother, are we going to expand our power here? Ishimura asked. No, not long after you went into seclusion, I tried my best to expand my power, but I didn't expect that I was betrayed by a guy. He colluded with those disgusting professional hero s and my life almost fell on his hands. So, the last time I was injured, I have been practicing almost all the time. Professional hero s. Ishimura's face suddenly became ferocious. One day, I will make these high-sounding professional hero s pay the price. Ha ha, I admit that those guys are quite capable, but the only one who can truly deserve the word hero s is All Might. Although I have nothing to do with All Might, what he did is what a hero s should do. Ishimura strongly agrees with his elder brother's words. What brother said makes sense. By the way, where are you now? I'll go find you, Ishimura asked. After the man reported his address to Ishimura, he hung up the phone. At dusk, Su Yuan and the others also arrived at the small town where his grandfather lived, Hai Yuan Town. Hai Yuan Town is neither big nor small, with a population of nearly 60,000. Since Hai Yuan Town is close to the sea, many people here are fishermen. After three years of not seeing each other, a lot of changes have taken place here, and even Su Yuan almost didn't recognize him. Mom and Dad, I brought Su Yuan here to see you. Su Yuan's mother said softly, and then slowly walked into the hall. Su Yuan's grandfather was very happy when he heard that Su Yuan was coming. Get up directly from the sofa. Su Yuan's grandmother hurriedly walked out of the kitchen. We haven't seen each other for three years. Su Yuan has grown so big. His grandfather said with a smile. Not only has he grown taller, but he's also much more handsome. His grandmother added. However, this is true. Su Yuan's current height has reached 175 centimeters, his body proportions are very good, and he is also very handsome. Su Yuan smiled. Thank you, Grandma and Grandpa. By the way, parents, your grandson was admitted to the Hero S department this year. His mother said and the smile on her face gradually became brighter. What, Hero? 
Hero asked K. Looking at his grandfather's wide eyes, Su Yuan was really afraid that his eyes would fall out. Ha ha ha, Su Yuan is indeed a genius. His grandmother smiled slightly. No, no, I'm too excited. I have to go outside and take a breath of fresh air. Su Yuan's grandfather said and immediately ran outside. I think you can't wait to tell those old men that your grandson has been admitted to Shangying. Su Yuan's grandmother revealed. Grandpa turned around and shouted, What nonsense are you talking about, you old woman? Seeing his grandfather's expression, a burst of laughter came from the hall. Su Yuan felt warm for the first time in such a scene. By the way, Su Yuan, have you told Xingzi when you come back this time? Su Yuan's grandmother asked Su Yuan. Hearing this, the appearance of a girl instantly appeared in Su Yuan's mind. Kyoko, whose full name is Sato Kyoko, was in elementary school. Like Su Yuan, she had not yet awakened quirks. So, of course, the two of them were isolated by the whole class, and naturally, they became good friends. However, soon after, Sato Kyoko awakened quirks, but their relationship was not ruined by this. No, Su Yuan replied, you, it's true, you won't come back for the new year and other holidays. That girl Xingzi has been clamoring to go to the city to find you in the past few years. However, I grew up in the next two years and became more sensible, so I didn't mess around. Su Yuan's grandmother laughed. Su Yuan smiled kindly, but it had nothing to do with him. After all, he had only traveled through time for a year. If Sato Kyoko hadn't suddenly been mentioned today, Su Yuan would not have thought of this person. After all, he spent almost all of his year practicing, so he had no time to think about unnecessary things. Is she still in Haiyuan town now? Su Yuan asked. Yeah, yeah, she's been here in Haiyuan town all the time. It's rare to come back together. Let's go and play with her tomorrow. His grandmother asked. Su Yuan nodded, acquiescing. In the evening, after dinner, Su Yuan returned to the room. As for his parents, they were chatting with his grandfather. As soon as the lights were turned on and before the curtains could even be opened, there was a tapping sound coming from the window. Su Yuan was stunned for a while, but soon he thought of something, hurried over and opened the curtains. Immediately afterwards, a woman's figure appeared in his sight. Xingzi, Su Yuan said subconsciously. There was no word spoken outside, Su Yuan only saw her figure and nodded. He opened the window, and immediately after, a figure rushed in. Before Su Yuan could react, Sato Kyoko hugged Su Yuan tightly. Immediately afterwards, a scent of fragrance rushed towards me. When she was a child, Kyoko Sato was like this too. She often climbed up the window to play with Su Yuan. But, we haven't seen you for a few years, haven't you grown taller? Su Yuan muttered. Kyoko Sato's expression changed, and she loosened the hand holding Su Yuan, and then twisted his flank. He pouted and said, you're talking. However, it is true that Su Yuan is now 175 centimeters tall, but what about Kyoko Sato? Looking at her like this, the maximum is 160, which is the limit. Okay, okay, no more talking. Su Yuan smiled bitterly. Kyoko Sato let go of Su Yuan and said with a serious face, I heard from your grandpa that you have been admitted to the heroic examination. Yeah, Su Yuan nodded. How awesome is that? They probably didn't expect that the little boy they always laughed at would be admitted to the place they dreamed of. However, I was the one who protected you before you awakened quirks. Now that you have awakened quirks, it's you who protect me. Kyoko Sato said with a slight smile. Indeed, Su Yuan was a bit miserable when he was in elementary school. Because quirks were unclear, he was deemed to have no quirks for the time being. Then he was bullied. After Sato Kyoko awakened quirks, he was less bullied. He should remember this kindness, whether it was the original owner or the current Su Yuan. Of course, if someone bullies you in the future, I will definitely make him disappear from this world. Su Yuan replied with a smile. Sato Kyoko pouted and said very cutely, I remember what you said. If you lie to me, I will definitely not be able to forgive you. After talking about this, they talked about the past. Their relationship was not at all as strange because they had not seen each other for several years. The next morning, Su Yuan looked at himself in the mirror, his eyes were bloodshot. 
he never thought that he would chat with Sato Kyoko all night. Moreover, the topics are not repetitive. It's terrible, Su Yuan muttered as he looked in the mirror. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.